What's going on, everybody? I'm Captain Robert, and this is Saved by the Spell Game of Saving Throws 52. Let's go. <laughs> Hot dog. Oh, we made it. This is the year episode. We made it to 52. It's, it's an invisible <laughs> ruby. Number. One year. Ah, oh, shit. Where'd it go? One year. She's using that cloak of invisibility. She's got the hood up right now. You can't see her. Nowhere to be found. She's dead. I killed her. <laughs> Big surprise. Ruby died in her sleep last night, guys. <laughs> what's your What's your number? Seven. Lucky seven. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. No, that's Jenny, Jenny. Sorry. Way too many. That, oh, there we go. That's me. I think. Uh, that was the one leftover hidden part from last night of me screwing everything up. <laughs> <laughs> the great secret. Booyah. No one made an appearance on tonight's show. It's me. <laughs> oh, man. Merry quarantine, everybody. Mm. It's, is that a holiday now? I was going to say, it's, it's not. Even though the uh, adult AC station in my market started playing Christmas music today because everybody's mood is in the shitter. Uh, I mean, it, it still doesn't make it Christmas. <laughs> what is the AC? What does that stand for? <laughs> uh, adult Contemporary. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one where it's like, you get a Mariah Carey song, you get a Seal song. You get like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who the, who the you, hear, you hear Careless Whisper going to pink and you go, yep, that's an AC station. <laughs> is it like... AC stations like uh, it's like uh, the the kind of music that your 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 aunt gets it on to, like that's oh, the... oh, yeah. <laughs> and and now she's rocking to Jingle Bells. <laughs> yeah. You're feeling uh, like you need a little pick me up. Uh -huh. Download the radio.com app and tune into Kixie broadcasting twenty four seven Christmas music right now. Uh, nothing <laughs> says burner station like Christmas quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> that would drive me nuts. Ugh. That would drive me nuts. If I was already feeling stir crazy, being stuck in my house, and then had to listen to Christmas music, I would murder something. You know, since I'm in home quarantined, I'm actually considering putting my Christmas lights up just Gross. to screw with my neighbors. No, people have been doing mm -hmm. that to make it pretty outside, so you have yeah. something nice to look at. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, a, in. I'm a proponent. Like, I, I, I'm at least that... Travis Tritt level of of a uh, of redneck mm -hmm. where I'm down for Christmas lights year round. It doesn't it doesn't I bother like it. me. Mm -hmm. Put those hey, things all, up. All mine are LEDs. I'm not worried about power consumption. I've already got full <laughs> solar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I, I guess. Have you heard the like pollution's down? So like, Earth is better for it right now. <laughs> Shikios is taking it back. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> One plane at a time. I'm, fuck it. That's what I'm gonna call my solar system now. I'm gonna change the name to Solar One, and I'm gonna just call it Chikios. Chikios <laughs> Online. Malaka. <laughs> yes. Every time I turn it on, I walk by and it goes Malaka. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Ready? You got any announcements other than the fact that you're unbelievably tired already from working at home and entertaining your kids? It's. When you're working a when you're working a 15 hour day, and you know on top of that you need to be uh, be a parent and a husband and also a streamer. It's um, I'm I'm starting I'm starting to feel tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so at this point, stream tomorrow night. It's got a big question mark over it. We may just be back on Monday. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you're gonna need a vacation. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm just needing sleep. That's all. <laughs> so we went. Let's see. But by the time we got done with last night's D and D, it was two o'clock in the morning, and uh, uh, my kids woke me up promptly at five thirty, <laughs> and then work started at seven. So there was no rest for the wicked. Yeah, I got to bed at eight in the morning, but I, I made some killer killer Tuscan chicken and uh, Brussels sprouts at like seven thirty. Oh. oh nice. Yeah, that was oh, yeah. that was a uh, that was the best like random bag of great value like food food in the sack put in a skillet that <laughs> I've had in a while. I was very very pleased with my decision. Speaking of food in like a like a, a sack and that kind of thing, what was the last time you had a hamburger helper? 
Mm. Oh, decades. Helper, helper doesn't nope. come in a sack. It's a I know, box. but like just, just, just like box. Uh, st- no, we still eat it bag. all the time. Once a week. Really? Once a week at my household. Yeah, beef stroganoff or three cheese penne. Ooh, yeah, but we were we, we were raised on it, so like we just like, mm-hmm. I, dude, I ate hamburger helper three times a week growing up. So like we still like, that's just the I easy mean, one. Yeah, so did I. We we ate a lot of it, and then. uh in college had all the time and then like i think since i like <laughs> got out of school and like got a job i just think i'd never have bought <laughs> never. it ever not, again not to what? brag about my dinner choices <laughs> but is that a lunchable? Did eat lunchables for it dinner, is a so. lunchable oh. it's not it's not like i'm on my high horse here we did have lunchables i mean i'm just saying get like, these all the time <laughs> Not, not every day do you need like oh hey where can i get that skillet that's just a pile of carbs yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like instead of hamburger helper, I would just make mac and cheese and like make bacon, bacon and regular burger now. Like, I don't know. I've never. I, I mean, it, what, it was a way to fill why. like, it was three guys in a household. Like, so, you know, it was two boxes of hamburger helper got the job done, you know? <laughs> I'm just, just kind of wondering at what point in my life I was just like, I somehow inadvertently just decided we're so more hamburger helper. Yeah, uh, probably when you stop buying like the tube of ground oh, yeah, beef. The tube of ground beef. Once yeah, you went true. to the package over the top, you started making burgers. It was nice. It's Once the... I started buying like a half a cow and putting it in my deep freeze. <laughs> oh. I just do the tubes of burger. I just get the ten pound and then I cut them up and I lay them flat in a freezer bag and I freeze them. And then you pull out your slice of ground beef. Your, your slice of burger. It does defrost way faster <laughs> yes. that way. Yeah. Then you put it in meat. a pound and then you smash it flat. It's also really great for anger management. Um, but then Seems they like you have a lot of that in your house. Easier. Yeah. <laughs> she needs it just to live with herself. <laughs> I mean, I could only... Beef. I could only imagine what my life would be like if I didn't wash my legs in the shower. Hey, I'm conserving uh, water. Reaganomics, also, baby. I'm pretty Trickle sure down. I'm still showering more often than most quarantine people, so. Ooh, <laughs> I, I didn't like, think about the byproduct. The, the quarantine funk. Oh, man. Uh, mm-hmm. I, 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 you know it. I, I couldn't do it. I still fucking shower every day. I can't, I can't stand it. I could not be that funky unless I'm camping. Hmm. Yeah, you know, it's you, just wait. You, you work from home long enough, you'll uh, you, you'll you'll come around. <laughs> you'll come hey, around. From a man, from a, I know from experience. <laughs> I've been doing this thing five years. You've been doing it five days, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still going oh. into the office every day. <laughs> oh my god, does that mean everybody's gonna turn into fucking mud cat? Well, yeah, you just wait. Yeah. You just uh, wait. Cynical and you drunk. isolate yourself. Yeah. Mo- multiplicity. Before I know it, everybody's gonna have that fucking raid defense going off in their mixer channels. I want mm-hmm. you to burn. <laughs> I just am a fan of classical music. I'm not holding this against me. There is a playlist called what was it? There's a quarantine playlist that is hilarious. <laughs> I swear it's on Spotify. Anyway, you should all listen to it. <laughs> Radio, you got any announcements this week? <laughs> we already hit me. Yeah. We already hit- Becca, or did we? Mm-mm, but no announcements. <laughs> Destiny, that's it. Destiny. Boom. Are we gonna Are we gonna actually play Trials this weekend at some point? Please, I need someone to play Trials. Mudcat was supposed to, and then he didn't. And I'll play. I I've contacted him like, like grind some levels because I'm nine sixty something. <laughs> <laughs> actually i don't I've even been, care i'll just I've been go looking into for a fire team it'll be fine i'll snipe <laughs> and those thousands will snipe you back uh, right it'll take me two headshots instead of one it'll be fine i'll hit uh-huh. them both uh-huh i'll just keep eating my crayons over in the corner on xbox just give me a hard light i don't i don't even need this sniper dude the hard light revoker that's the meta light. baby i refuse give me, just give me a hard light it'll be fine yeah, you'd like Mud, do you hard. shoot directly at the head or do you go for the bounce shot on the uh, ground up? Like on the hard light? Mm-hmm. Uh, depends on the radar. I'll shoot around corners. But like if um, the person's dead on, do you do the bounce shot at the ground or do you go straight for the head shot? I'd probably go straight for the head shot, honestly. I'd probably go for the head shot if they were coming right at me. Because I know I'm going to hit that. 
We'll see it when we. Such confidence. <laughs> yeah, Such confidence. But you know, if it's around, if they're on a radar around the corner. I'm bouncing around the corner. Yeah. I'm glad someone heard me. This shit looks like <laughs> fucking Def Leppard show. Mud. The goal. The goal is to get every person in your fire team set to a different burn, so that it all looks like crazy ass colors. Mm. It's a light show. Exactly. <laughs> Red, like white, purple, what the fuck? Oh, I'm rolling. Uh, <laughs> Mud, you got a, you have an announcement this week. Do. Uh, Do loot, loot drop. Loot drop. Oh, got the loot. Sea of Thieves thing? Yeah, you got loot drop for the weekend. Oh, that already happened. Yeah, but it goes. That was, a, that was watching the Sea of Thieves dev stream earlier today. Yeah, but it goes till the 23rd, right? It's It's the whole weekend. Uh, there's like see at the there's like stuff to do in Sea of Thieves if you go to like the Sea of Thieves dot com slash the Hungering Deep or something like that. I but thought I thought like, you had the whole weekend to get the uh, the golden eye. Oh, the golden thing that's just for logging in. Yeah, you can get a golden eye of reach on Sea of Thieves if you. Oh if really? You, if you log in, it's got like a, it's like an X marks a spot. It's got a it's the launch crew sniper, the one that's got like the broken bottle on the top. Oh. Uh, but it's like gold and it's, has like it's a, this golden ale across on yeah. label. <laughs> I want it. Pretty dope. All you gotta do is log in and get yep. it. I can do that. Yeah. Sweet. See. I didn't even know that. I thought I had to do something to go get it. So. No if you have Game Pass the Ultimate, you can also. Xbox on right now. <laughs> if you have Game Pass Ultimate, you can also um, uh, go into the new their new perk section on PC or Xbox or whatever and get the Ori and the Will of Wisps chipset for free oh no shit dude i just started playing that game it is so good the music the characters the fucking play is awesome i love it i never uh i never finished the first game i started it i have it I just never finished it <laughs> not saying i'm gonna finish I, it i just said i started playing it <laughs> i uh i heard they turned the difficulty down on normal compared to the previous game oh really yeah so like if you want the true ori experience you have to crank it up mm. because the original ori is brutal it was hard it was hard original ori is mega man platforming brutal i think i got some like maybe half of it before i kind of like lost interest you know yeah, i'm glad I'm i of... find it super easy <laughs> I just wanted yeah. something to meditate Me to. I'm like, yeah. nope, slider all the way to the end. Yeah, I just want to watch cutscenes, listen to music. Yeah. I'm not yeah. here for the challenges. Yeah. I want to uh, feel good cut, right now. Are awesome. The story is great in that game. I mean, how many times do you have to have brutal you know, your characters you know, rip from your heart? You know if it's you know if it's cute, they're killing it in Ori. That's a George no. R. R. Martin game. <laughs> There's no <laughs> doubt in my mind. It, it looks like a cute game, but it's a uh, it's it's not it's a game of death <laughs> it's a game of emotional terrorism <laughs> big ass fucking spiders every boss in there is like a jrpg like oh godzilla <laughs> shadow monsters and shit yeah Man. i faced a fucking wolf with a twig of fire <laughs> and this somehow is fine. I won. this is fine <laughs> All right, uh, announcements over here on uh, my side. Do I do I have announcements for this week? Uh, no, I don't really have anything else that uh, I, I have to announce. We have uh, haven't made plans for Wednesday yet, so those are still up in the air. If you're not in the Discord, this is a good time for uh, exclamation point Discord to hop in there so you can get the announcements when I actually craft them and put them out into nature um want to get another show going but obviously a lot of people are really kind of busy right now with quarantine and shit like that so we'll we'll see what gets put together a lot of stuff on the back end um needs to uh still needs to happen but as far as Torment's quest and game of saving throws those guys are still going to continue and if i can mishmash it together we'll still be playing as much D and D as I can possibly pack within a week. Oh, this is a bad time to tell you I quit. Hey, go for it, dude. <laughs> I know, I know. You're holding us back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ouch! It's, gotta cut the bait, man. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't gonna say anything, but I was on the fence till right now, and now I'm gone. 
uh, now I have enough footage of you where I can just make a mud yeah. soundboard yeah, and I can, can just, just cue it in. You can just carry fish or me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've already done enough for another 52 episodes here. Uh, it's, uh, Don't worry, I'll analyze his voice and create a filter that you can put on your Go XLR. You'll sound exactly like him. Okay. Mm -hmm. It'll be just like the chef episode uh, they did in South Park. Oh, yeah. Hey, Clove! <laughs> <laughs> You'll, you could imitate it, but you'll never have quite the uh, quite the the handle on the hate for everyone and everything. Oh, we have two separate ones. Remember, we have beginning episode where I'm like, oh, man, I really wish I would replace him on the show. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, yeah, that's why he, that's why he's still here. Yeah, right. there it is. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> oh, no, it hurts. Two different boards. <laughs> we got this figured out. Okay, no problem. <laughs> uh yeah uh thanks to roll 20 you guys are amazing thanks for everything you're doing for folks that are in quarantine letting them get into D, &D games i have received a lot of your dms wondering exactly how you do exactly what we do and uh i'm excited that people are playing D, &D on their own and doing the thing man so Appreciate you, Roll20. Thanks for sponsoring us and helping out everybody else right now that is trying to virtually put the table together. Some of us never had a choice. We dwell in the internet. And also dndbeyond.com. You guys are rock stars. They also opened up. Uh, you can do five campaigns now. Hopefully that sticks. Come on, just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of characters that would be great. Just go ahead and leave us the two extra. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to walk back, right? I think a lot of these right. things that are getting done are like, oh okay, this is a really good excuse to just do things and get good favor without looking like, oh okay, we made a mistake and need to give you more. You know? Yeah, I saw, I saw the like, uh, services like Lightstream and stuff, like offering a lot of their stuff at a discounted rate. And I was like, yeah, good luck taking that back. <laughs> yeah, it could be hard to walk back. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, any any word on my uh, my my private services? That'll go up in the Discord uh, after this weekend. So uh, my my availability for private sessions will go into a, its own channel. Whoever is caressing their mic. <laughs> Sorry, I had to reorganize. Oh. <laughs> that's, yeah. his, that's the mic on it attached to his testicles. He's just <laughs> shifting them. Just rubbing it gently. <clears throat> yeah. Preparing. He's got he's got a lav mic just clipped around his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah, we've been uh, we've been working on the website, so hopefully next week we got a fully functional website as well. So that'd be really cool. Fun stuff, man. Growing up. But, uh, big kids now. Yeah, getting big kid, big kid mode, man, big kid mode. Uh, and I signed one really, really NDA, cool NDA that I can't talk to you guys about. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but it's an awesome one. So stay nice. tuned for that. Um, other than that, man, I think it's uh, I think it's go time radio. Uh -oh. Captain, tell us. What happened last week on Save by the Spell? Game of Saving Throws! <laughs> that was terrifying. That's, you know, I fucked it up yesterday. <laughs> I know. <laughs> last week, the party finding themselves in free fall on the Neptune Shame, watching the seas ravage, broken apart, is it too? was about to crash into the sea. We're able to put together a last ditch effort of using that ethereal netting that once lifted them up above salt marsh as it took Harshnag, Chikios as a dragon and Hister Faust grabbing onto those ethereal ropes, swinging Buccaneer style up and underneath Neptune shame and coming up over the top and latching those together. Mind you, Hister and Harshnag both maintain their balance while Chikios as a dragon ate shit on the ground. Let it be forever noted. He was hungry, it's fine. True, been a long battle. Uh, you guys had a uh, typical fashion race to the top uh, in which once again, Ruby bested Hister. 
<laughs> no surprise. <laughs> Upon Just making your again. way and finally laying down a long overdue feast, you guys realize that the Cloud Castle has been recently renovated in a big way. There's now running electricity, a steampunk clock tower. There's even an, a part of an actual park with green grass and benches where you discovered little Dante Alfonso isn't little Dante Alfonso anymore. It's kind of a hunk, flowing red hair, pretty much totally ripped off Alucard, but it's okay. <laughs> you found him in a half, half elf human form up in the cloud castle as a surprise. That wasn't the only surprise. As you sat down and broke bread with your newfound gin friend, you were granted that wish. And you guys discovered that Nighthawk isn't dead after all. And that's where we're going to pick up, not at the same exact moment at the table, we're gonna pick up in the morning after everyone has completed a much due long rest. So click that bad boy on your character sheet. And anybody who wants to lead off may, if you guys don't, I'll probably start cooking bacon. Cook the bacon. <laughs> That's the best way to start anything. You're not wrong. Not wrong. Emery's gonna wake up in his uh, his room in the cat house. It's not a cat house. <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna wake up in his room in the cat house and he's going to uh one of the uh, one of the first things he's gonna do in the morning he's gonna walk around his room uh, real quick and uh kind of open the door and kind of peer out look around real real sly and shut back the door really really quietly he's gonna walk over to his uh his his uh his paintings of uh, of the the batoks hanging on the wall and he's going to remove it from the wall revealing his uh, his secret his secret uh, stash of gold and items he has and he's just going to check on it make sure all of his all of his loot is secured within the wall behind the painting he's going to re reaffix it uh, making sure that you know Dante didn't fuck with it while he was gone And then, uh, you know, and then admiring the, the, the shapely hind quarters. Uh, he will uh, he'll then go out towards the kitchen to make bacon or to uh, to, to the smell of bacon. So we're going to find Hester. Shikios, are you there with me? Oh, yeah, I, I got my apron on. I got my uh, I got my full satyr form and my uh, kiss the cook apron. It, it, it looks Morning. like the, the Legion Hall. Oh. oh, morning! What's going on? What's going on there, gorgeous? Come for some coffee? Oh man, I slept like I was dead. Yeah, a couple of times I think you almost were. A couple of <laughs> times probably. Ago. What else is new though? So one of us is dead just about every day. Yeah. Ruby is going to quietly sneak into the room and she's going to go pounce mode and try to sneak up behind Chikios very quietly since he's the one making bacon guess what as you're sneaking you're gonna get told on because my jav my javelin of warning is starting to hum <laughs> roll it, it, may, it may hum roll your stealth check yes hers yeah roll yeah. hers what are you being stealthy for <laughs> <laughs> uh, 24 my passive perception is a 20. Did you see? Good God. <laughs> that natural feline ability. <laughs> What's that? Well, your passive perception is a 20? Yeah, my... <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> my, we're level 13 characters now, man. We're, I have a 20 yeah. in, in wisdom. <laughs> God damn. 
<laughs> yeah, you're totally still just sneaking up on me. <laughs> If I get close enough, I'm going to hunker down and then I'm going to jump up and try to land on your shoulders. All four of my paws. Acrobatics check. Yes. I am ready for these challenges. That is an 18. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be a problem. It, of course, you see this the entire time history. Like you see the shit coming. Just 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 holding and back everything. Uh, I, I got the skillet up in my hand this time, you know, I'm like, but I'm, I'm two handed it and go ahead. I land there. <gasps> Good morning. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, shit. Grease goes up in the air. Uh, two pieces of bacon go flying I'm over. I'm going to try to grab any bacon that gets in the air. <laughs> roll a uh, roll a dexterity, uh, dexterity uh, saving throw. Okay. 16? 16. Yeah, it's hot, but yeah, you snag it. And it's just the way you like it. It's half cooked bacon. <laughs> happening. I'm just casually holding on a coffee mug for Hister to fill up. I love the morning. It's so perfect. Thank you for breakfast. Can you just mourn now? I'm just, I'm just bent over. Just. <sighs> She gives us hyperventilating. I'm just gonna grab two pieces of raw bacon <laughs> off the counter. Hey Ruby, catch. Grab the grab the <gasps> coffee pot and, and pour and some more coffee. <laughs> You're going to give me a heart attack like that woman. <laughs> You're fine. Keep you uh, on your toes. You're welcome. Uh, it's the perfect morning wake up. I am I am one hundred percent. I am awake now. I am awake. Mm. Uh, don't suppose you want some coffee uh, with that smile on your face. You probably don't need any of this shit. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm going to go for a run to see what else is here. Anybody want to go? <laughs> Nothing's chasing me right now. I don't feel like running. I'm going to have some of this bacon, though. Chikios, need some help with that skillet. <laughs> I do. I do. We need, I, I, we need some more bacon in here. I spilled half of the grease over here. Um, oh, if you're making more, I'm going to stay. I'm going to start stretching, though. <laughs> Putting my legs up on the table like stretching full out. <laughs> Jeez, like, and your legs are ridiculously long. Yeah, I'm super <laughs> tall. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> the legs for days. <sighs> Easy there, cowboy. <sighs> I'm sitting here, just thin shaving bacon <laughs> off this this pork belly. Yeah, and I look over to you. Again. Not everyone wants to fuck everything. He's you know, it, it, and uh, obviously there's not a retirement community for you here to get your pickings. <laughs> Oh, oh please come on what? I would not I would not trust my hunt, right? I would not trust my own grandma in the same room with you Hister I don't know <laughs> I've, I've, mm -hmm. I've seen a few grandmas in the fae that I would like to take out for a nice steak dinner you know what I mean I don't please explain <laughs> you'll understand when you're older no, how is... old well, how old do I have to be to learn things older just Everybody gonna walk the bacon over and throw it in the pan heard is wait till you're older and that's the problem. Days. You haven't grown up yet. You're still a fucking kid. She can't be a kid if she's almost died killing giants. I think that I, I think that is officially the point where you, you you have started to make your own stupid decisions. She is officially yeah. an adult after she lost her leg. I'm hiding behind Chikios, but I'm giving his store all the childish faces. <laughs> See that? That's that's what I'm talking about, right there. I See, don't know what they're talking about. He goes because he's doing it behind your back. Just just because you weren't, weren't ever around to discipline your kids doesn't mean you could go around disciplining us. Oh, burn! I'm not trying to discipline you, Chikios. I'm just trying to teach the kids some fucking manners. <laughs> Look, luckily enough, your 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 last child was a run popiel, said it and forget it. You were lucky. Oh. Uh, salutations and good morning. As Dante makes his way into the room with book book in hand. Oh, it's the, uh, 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 it's uh, uh, Dante. How are you doing? <sighs> Slept like a rock. It's good to have well, company back here again. You and Emery had that in common. It's, it's been very empty quite some time it's good to have everyone back he strolls by and uh, grabs a uh, piece of bacon with his uh, his tome out going to town what are you reading hmm. he goes over to Ruby and 
opens this tome out, shows you it's actually a bestiary that he's looking at. <laughs> Ooh, what's this chapter about? I finally got into Beasts of the Sky. I just got done with Beasts of the Field, and I've been reading about different elementals of the sky since we've had problems with them sneaking in before. Mm-hmm. I, I, I want to be prepared the next time so they don't just sprout up from the cloud, you know? And uh, uh, it, it seems that there are. There, there, there are different kinds and primordials and, and uh, different levels of strength. And he goes, oh, okay. it, 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 it could be very boring. But, uh, Time for uh, a presentation. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds of what you have learned. Go. <laughs> 30 seconds of what I've learned? Uh, One, two, I, uh, three. Where do I begin? Uh, 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 the, the, the primordials are, 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 are much stronger than the rest. It, it, if you're dealing with a primordial, you'll know because they can, they can, they're the ones that... I'm getting, the one, the, the, you the, know what, it's, how about you get breakfast first? They're the ones that you'll put the manacles... You keep learning that little head of yours and one day you'll share it, yes? Okay. <laughs> The gonna, ones that turn gonna from gonna that awkward over. situation and leave. <laughs> and we're gonna gonna slide over, uh, offer over a, a, a mug of coffee to Dante. But as he's doing, it, he's gonna squeeze half a lemon in it. I didn't get to him. That's a pinky ride up. Don't worry. Don't worry about her. Takes it anyway. <laughs> Emery's gonna suck on the lemon that he squeezed. Oh, it's good, <laughs> right? It's good to see you're back into that lemon sucking thing again. It's been been a while. You uh, well, I mean, you had the you had the lemon cakes, so uh, it, it kind of got my got my lemon tooth going again. Dante, don't let him don't don't let him fucking fool you. If you think that coffee tastes like shit, just tell him. <sighs> Overtly acidic. Uh, and he just sets it down. <laughs> he does the typical like party favor. Oh, and grabs it and socially sets it down over by where Cheeky has to sit. <laughs> Makes Emery his way will, back around. Emery's gonna notice and just grab it and pour the rest of it into his coffee mug. At this point, Dante uh, kind of overwhelmed <laughs> with all the people. He's gonna go back out to uh, the park bench. For a minute. <laughs> so is this what it's gonna be like when we in quarantine? Civilization. <laughs> I didn't realize <laughs> you can't handle this anymore. <laughs> We're in D and D quarantine up in this cloud right now. <laughs> if we're not if we're not pillaging, we're just awful people to live with. We're just all bad roommates. <laughs> okay. And about this time you see just <laughs> oh, I forgot. Actually, the inside where we cook is a massive chamber. We're, we're, at, we're not actually barbecuing outside yet. So Harshneg's going to be actually able to come all the way inside the room. <laughs> we're going to need a lot more bacon than that. <laughs> you remember, you have to share. We have plenty of food. Dante and myself have been stalking while you were gone. <sighs> well, bring me some more pork belly then so I can slice this up. And if you got something else you want to serve up for breakfast, bring it on down. My line cook here will make it happen for you. He looks over at Chikios. Come here, Hester. Let me show you something. <laughs> Walk over to where Harshnag is. <sighs> Open that third barrel right there. Crowbars on the floor. Grab the crowbar and start the monkey open the top of the barrel. Roll a perception check with just the slightest bit of that barrel opening. All right, voice. Um, perception, that's a 19. Are you not strong enough to open it with your bare hands? <laughs> Fucking peanut gallery. <laughs> Shut up, cat! When you open it up, oh, that is a strong smell. One that you're familiar with from being on the road. 
It is an entire barrel full of brown swagger. <laughs> Where in the hell did you get this? You can find anything you want in Waterdeep. Even barrels of brown swagger. Now, now, get me the biggest, crustiest loaf of bread that you can find. He <laughs> dips it like a biscotti in there. Gets that German liver paste up. Mm. <laughs> the bachelor's treat smells like deer camp incarnate. Mm. I'm pretty sure you and I are the only people who know what fucking brown sweater it really is. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, you, you, usually when you get it, it looks like a fucking roll of bologna, but it does not smell like bologna. Well, it's, li it's liver paste. So yeah, it's, it's very it's liver. hardcore irony. You could spread it. And, oh, you just you just need to add a little uh, to something to cut the iron, like a little honey, preserved fruit. Oh, dates. Date. Oh my god, dates are so oh, yeah. good. <laughs> Fucking dates are perfect for brown swagger. Oh, but it's a smell you'll never forget. Nope. <laughs> it's a smell that you'll never forget. Oh, horseradish too. Horseradish or hot sauce? Yeah. It's uh, Oh, I've never tried it with something that hot. Oh, that's the other way. Hot it's, mustard? It's always been sweet. Hot mustard's right. good too. Fuck, if there's a deli open that has brown swagger, <laughs> I'm gonna find some. Cause I Bro. got some fucking dynamite horseradish. <laughs> It's still in that giant loaf. It's the one company that makes it. I, I can't remember <laughs> their name. Like, there's only one company that makes fucking brown swagger. I've never gotten the boar's nest of brown swagger. <laughs> mm. Only the finest sister. He's <laughs> gonna, gonna take a handful and walk back towards the kitchen. Hey, Ruby. You ever try this? <laughs> Hold out this claw full of this brown paste. What is it? It doesn't smell good. Well, <laughs> it smells Taste worse it. than you. Taste it. What is it? Brown swagger. What's that does not box? help me understand at all. You like funky <laughs> meats. You're going to love this. Oh, it's meat. I love it. I'll just take a whole claw full and just stuff it in my mouth. And no, you would. I mean, it, no it's... regrets. <laughs> I mean, you've ate plenty of raw stuff. Like yeah. that's irony. You're gonna Those love. Rats. Yeah. This is gonna be like your catnip. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Hey, Ruby's gonna smell like brown swagger all the time. We're gonna catch her my dip breath. in her paw. Just my breath. I am going to be the brown sweater paste. <laughs> Run from me. <laughs> Potted meat, Beth. <laughs> oh, that's how you spell it? Yeah, it's German. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I was I'm literally swagger. thinking you were calling it brown swagger. And I'm like, I'm so that's dumb. Southeast Missouri way, that brown yeah. swagger. <laughs> that brown swagger. Brown swagger. Which, which is funny because my mom's from Tyler, Texas, but I've heard it only pronounced as brown swagger. <laughs> <laughs> or not if I would have Googled brown <laughs> swagger and I don't know what would have popped up. <laughs> <laughs> Brown swagger. Yeah, yeah. It out of the Google search. Here's the one we always get. The the uh, no, I've never had Shabo Shabogans. Uh, I don't have Oscar Myers either. There's another company that makes it. Oh, John Morrell. There it is. John Morrell's brown swagger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Oh, it's well, it Ruby is just taking it in going all out she's trying to reach for more now i'm just gonna take what's left in my claw and kind of dump it out shuffle it on the table and <clears throat> enjoy mm. <laughs> you have there. one Go favor back. with me once again dragon <laughs> not even gonna respond. I'm gonna go back to then <laughs> then slicing the pork belly and throwing it into chikiosa's pan Chikios is just gonna be frying away, man. Just getting it done. It's, it is good to not be uh, fighting for your life today. Oh. 
Oh, that reminds me of something. Hey, Murray, this would be a good time for you to uh, unleash the beast on another set of number two. Mm. It's been a while since you brewed, and this seems to be your favorite spot to make uh, choice ale. Oh, this seems to be your favorite spot for me to make choice ale. I think it all tastes like shit up here. I mean, one man's shit is another man's treasure, I guess. Make it. Make it. Mm. Please. Please. It just... <laughs> Dante's of age now. Come on. Just gonna squint. Dante's had it. He's liked it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. He's just gonna, just gonna sip his coffee at you guys. And then he's gonna just walk out of the room and go make the number two ale. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, that's just a good friend. That's just a good friend. Even though he doesn't want to. He doesn't know how good he has it. Mm-hmm. No, I would never say this to his face, but... That fucking guy is one talented brewer. Why would you never say it to his face? You know, Ruby... Maybe that's my problem. Hmm. Maybe I don't appreciate people when I should appreciate them. Aww. He's just going back to slicing his bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Enough kindness for one day. <laughs> even even Chikios. <laughs> Quota has been met. Uh, uh, just thinking about it was enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm going to roll a stealth check. <clears throat> That's that one. <laughs> so I think I'm going to be real coy about it and uh, kind of go over the side table like I'm sitting down to eat a little bit of the bacon and I'm trying to line up just where I can see, like get a dead sprint and I'm going to goat headbutt Ruby in the ass. And I'm going to I'm going to try to launch her across the room, <laughs> and uh, I'm getting myself all lined up. Like I I totally think that I got this. Like nobody else is paying attention to me, but in fact everybody's been watching me awkwardly pace around the room, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to take off with my my apron and lower my head into full goat mode, and. You can you can describe however you want to avoid this in any possible I, way. My little cat senses are tingling. My ears perk up behind and I pick up on the noise. I know, I know you, so I know what you're gonna do. And as you get closer, I'm just gonna take like a good slide to the right. <laughs> and just take a sip of my drink. <laughs> you slide to the right, I'm going to go head first into a barrel of crushed tomatoes. <laughs> and so, I'm going to hit, get my horns hooked and stuck as I hit the ground as it opens up and the crushed tomatoes, they're, they're, you know, they're still like halves as they're like leaking out. They're like sliding down my neck and through my face as I, ah, 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 I think I'm, oh, no, I think I'm stuck in here. Ah, you're so quick. Ah! Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. These tomatoes are not bad. Yeah. They have been well seasoned. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, no, it burned. The acid burns in the ice. Ah. Stop. Oh, you silly. Come ah. here. Let me help you. Don't <laughs> ever mess with me again, Or. Ah. All right. Come here. Well, Let gonna... me hold. hold. Ah. Okay, now you're being difficult. Hold, ah. hold a little bit so I can pull it off. Ah. Ah. My neck. It's going, it, it, it's going into my ear. Get the one in my ear. from it. I'm holding it. You pull away from it. Oh ah! while, while you guys are fighting, Hester's actually got a pan underneath Chikios' jaw. He's collecting some of this, this tomato paste that's dropping into it. Uh, oh, quit, quit, quit moving around so damn much. I'm trying okay. to get through these tomatoes. Uh, you did this to yourself. I haven't had to do this since I was sprayed in the face by a giant skunk. Uh, <laughs> I will get you, Ruby Shore. Mark my words. Mm -hmm. I will. I will get you. 
I am invincible. I can outrun his store. I can out sell Chikyos. Ah, no one can get me. I'm still a fucking crazy cat. Well, that's true. I'm not going to reject that. <laughs> it goes to a flashback scene of sometime in the night where Histers woke up to go use the outhouse and you've just seen Ruby, sh Ruby dart sideways across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Like that weird how those cats do those bounce things. Oh, how many times have I seen that with my cat? Oh, no. That's me. <laughs> I don't know why she does it. She just does it. It's her thing, I don't know man. Either. I can't explain it. It's just, it's just instincts, man. It's just <laughs> three in the morning. It's just, it, weird things happen. <laughs> Oh, it's good to be back home. It's good to be back home. Mm. It's, it's just gonna crack some eggs into that pan with a tomato and sprinkle some cheese over the top. Cover it up. I have a little something that uh, one of my boys showed me once. He's gonna pull the pan off the fire and slide it over to the middle. Lift the top off. You're gonna smell this wonderful rich aroma of feta cheese and eggs and spicy tomatoes. Shakshuska! Hey, stutter. Get the fuck out of here. Give me that skillet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did you learn to do this on the road? I didn't learn on the road. My uh, Tormund taught me. <laughs> hmm. We haven't really been in a kitchen that had uh, so many provisions and uh, I don't know I just remembered a couple of things he showed me when I was uh, when I was home and him and Ciara would cook in the kitchen oh that's sweet tell us more no just, just fucking eat it come on, come on it's, it's, nice. no, it's getting cold these poached eggs they're, they're not going to be right if you don't eat them right now you don't always talk about nice little happy moments I want to hear more of them they're warm fuzzies and you're not always warm fuzzy. You're hard scale. I'm a dragonborn. Um, of course I'm hard scaled. Well, now it's time to become a little furry. Oh, well, speaking of little furry. <laughs> I'd shake my furry butt. When, uh, the... <laughs> Come on, he's a little furry. And what's that supposed to mean anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking eat it. I've got other shit to cook. He's gonna turn his back around and go to cook more bacon. <laughs> he wants to always be such a hard ass. We know he's not a hard ass. I like it. Give him shit more often, Ruby. <laughs> I can hear everything you're saying, Yos. We always it's know we're talking because shit. Because we care. <laughs> if you consider us talking outside of your circle, we are talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> It's because you're so interesting. Shut up. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. It's a Feywild thing. I give Ruby a wink. Mm. <laughs> and uh, I go and I take my egg mixer and I go out and sit by uh, Dante outside. <laughs> by the way, during all of this, uh, how is... Uh, <laughs> How has our friends uh, been holding up on the ghost ship <laughs> down below? Valus is uh, still uh, walking the decks, watching these uh, undead skeletons uh, <clears throat> clean things and repair things, and uh, they have like they're hoisting up all the all the cannons and repositioning them. So there's shit hanging everywhere and being swung around. He's just. He's just pacing back and forth, supervising it all. You get real nautical down there. Kiki had actually come up while everyone was sleeping to also sleep. She really likes soft, fuzzy things and found a blanket. And she it looks like probably a pile of blankets in the corner. But she's hidden inside one of those like, and <laughs> a little tiny ball. She's not really because you don't really have to sleep, but she's like all snuggled in there. Like this is heaven. I love it. <laughs> It does. It doesn't make you know, just because you're undead doesn't mean you don't like to get comfy. Yeah, she's like because she's so small, so a, a big blanket can completely cover her. Like she's got big softness all around. So there, happy. There's a lot of food going on. You, 
she's gonna, she's gonna cre creep out and try to try to grab some she has loved comfort more than food right now oh. she hasn't she's eaten she's been able to eat what she a, hasn't had a soft blanket in years this is a, she's a true woman she's a true woman <laughs> <laughs> this is comfort. I'm not giving this up. But but she doesn't really want to be noticed and leave her blanket. So perhaps we'll do a compromise and she'll slowly the blanket will slowly move. Slowly move. move. <laughs> little by little. Yeah. Anyone who ever is in a room can roleplay spotting this this blanket that's made its way up to the table. And you can obviously see Kiki's hand. It's like just one. Just one hand like searching up on the table, like gets a slice of bacon it's pulled into it the blanket for it <laughs> you gonna come out of that thing and eat some breakfast or are you just going to suck each piece in like a goddamn trapdoor spider <laughs> I found heaven and I'm never leaving it's just it's gonna reach down, pick the whole bundle up, and set it on the counter next to the fucking bacon. <laughs> Why would you do that? I was so happy. Now you get to be happy closer to the food. Oh, thank you. And she'll go for the plate. Sneaking it underneath, she's gonna slide the whole plate underneath her blanket and then pull it back over. Monkeys. Do you believe that history? Monkey that I saw kill multiple people in the battlefield won't come out of her break and eat the bacon. I'm very happy here and I can hear you talking about me. I'm a very loud individual that most people do notice, so I... I assume that everyone <laughs> hears the shit that comes out of my mouth. Got it, so we'll never tell you a secret, okay? <laughs> it's hard to hide in proper facilities. <laughs> it's the nature of being big. If I ever need to beat you in a challenge, we'll play hide and go seek. <laughs> <laughs> a wise frog once said, Not easy being green. Dr. Ptolemus? <laughs> I don't know. Not the one in the fade that gives you the hallucinogenics. Oh. <laughs> not, not wrong, frog. Wrong frog. I thought that was all of the fake. <laughs> Sikios has now walked back inside. Eh, most parts, no. Uh, I look over at the pile of blankets that is now devouring food. <laughs> <laughs> you just see little movements and you hear a lot of... <laughs> Oh, it's good. I'm glad someone finally got Valus up from downstairs. Good. I'm glad he's here. Good to see you, Valus. Cheeky, it's not Valus. Oh, it was. It's not. Uh, I could have sworn Valus was in here, and I, I, I go over to poke the blankets just a little bit. It's fine. Everyone thinks we're twins. <laughs> of course, of course. I get mistaken for him all the time. <laughs> See, Chikios, the problem is the blankets aren't brooding. If they were, then you would know it was Valus. <laughs> Dark <laughs> ominous aura over it. <laughs> I actually take uh we, we do have some fresh fruit. I take a uh a strand of grapes and I uh I slide the I slide the stand strand of grapes underneath the blanket and just kind of <gasps> <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> you see a lot of movement underneath the blanket. <laughs> just trying to like pluck them all out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chikios, how's our uh, baby? I mean, how's Dante? He's becoming a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> he's, uh, he's quite well read at this point. Hey, there's still plenty of food in here. Is he still hungry? Uh, no, he seems to be fine. Uh, it's interesting. He's, um, his growth, obviously, as we've seen, is it is exponential. Um, seems to be everything. He's um, gaining knowledge at a very rapid pace. It will be interesting to see his personality catch up to what he's read. I think this cloud's going to need a bigger library the way you're talking. Ah. 
he will have plenty of time to read all the books in the world. <laughs> it is our job to make sure that he understands also about the real world. He's been up here on a cloud. <sighs> like a dog that you don't take to the dog park. He, mm. he will, uh... This is good for him. His social experience is good for him. Goddamn, Jikios, you're starting to sound more like a dad every day. Ah, you know, I learned for the best absentee father on the planet. <laughs> Give you a big pat on your shoulder. Thanks. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> the, uh, the exponential growth thing made me think that uh, Dante's got a... Got a... Uh, uh, Robin Williams and Jack situation going on. <laughs> He's like 15, 40. <laughs> it's kind of kind of like that, you know? A little bit like that. He's just counterbalancing it by reading shit. It's going to be 85 at high school graduation. <laughs> In Dragon Years. Well, what Something should we in. expose Let's him to here. first? Should we take him to a city? Or a small village? Maybe we should have him meet something water. in the wild. He's been in Waterdeep uh, quite a bit, but he, it's not like he's been to a, a, mm -hmm. a Lord Roaringhorn party, no? Mm -hmm. And he's not exactly mm. been the one to socialize, though. Mm. Like, not in that form where he has to talk a lot. And that is, uh, that is one of the craziest situations you could possibly be in, the Lord Roaringhorn party. Shall we go, then? I would not mind going to a Lord Rowinghorn party in, for some downtime. It's... I vote that. I'm go I'm all in for that. Hmm. You know, it, it has been a long time since we've seen uh, our friends. I wouldn't mind a trip to Waterdeep to see Zelron and Shirok. The blanket in case you haven't noticed, has made its way to the middle of the group again. <laughs> what do you and think, Ballas? You hear a voice within. I've never been to a party. I'm sure you, you went to a party before in your previous life, Valis. Um, I mean, yeah, but I w w want, uh, um, oh, mm -hmm. Out of frustration, she'll poke her head out. Just a little bit, like not even all of it, just her eyes. And that's it. I'm not Valis and I've never been to a party. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry to have lied to you. <laughs> I'm not him. You are quite the deceptive one, Kiki. I'm sorry. I don't want to be a liar. But I really want to go to the party. Can I go? You can go to the party. You would have fit right in. <gasps> can I keep the blanket, though? Oh, I would. We would get you the most decorative blanket of all time, as long as it's as comfortable as the one that you have. Thank you. And she's going to go back under. <laughs> we officially have a black mage from Final Fantasy at this point. <laughs> <laughs> This is, I've always wondered how on earth that was created. Like, how'd they get the Jawa? No, it's a little, it's a little undead monkey that's been hanging out in that soft ass velour robe, never got out of her Snuggie. You know, comfort first. <laughs> at this, at this point, uh, <clears throat> Valis is gonna throw open the, the door to the cat house. The as, cat house. Even though it's a sunny day as he, even though it's a sunny day, as he throws it open, it's going to be uh, a flash of thunder and lightning, and he's going to be uh, completely silhouetted with red eyes and totally anime villain style as he enters the door. He's going to walk in and uh, walk over to the counter and look for a second and look at the moving blanket and he's going to say, I should have known you would be here shirking your responsibilities while I was working all night. I'm not here. Mm. <laughs> I mean, the blanket slowly deflates a little bit more. 
Valus, exactly what is it that you actually have to do when you have an entire crew of animated skeletons? Yeah, what he said. I had to, they can't climb. I had to do all the rigging. What do you mean they can't climb? <laughs> they can't you climb. Needed the exercise. They're clumsy. <laughs> they like they can't think for themselves. <laughs> like flashes back to this scene where you're like screaming at like six skeletons to climb the rigging, and like, <laughs> they just go like they get like three pulls up, but we're like, <laughs> it's like watching a Roomba hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> They can pull ropes and that's about it. Scrub some floors. That's a real son of a bitch. Yeah, I thought they could do everything. I was wondering if we could get one from up here. I mean, you could get one to sweep the floor if you wanted. Well, the, surely the but, wind but here. It's gonna it'll bump the counter and I'll know where to go. <laughs> I would like to have one up here just for it to be going around and doing things. Trying to do things. Uh, entertainment value. We can is gonna take that to be a serious request and he's just gonna like raise a hand and summon a skeleton from the ship to come into the fucking Undertaker style. <laughs> just raises <laughs> a hand, summons one into the into the room. <laughs> Look at one of them raises up through the clouds. The last time this happens, that was one of the fucking primordial fucking wind elementals that came up out and now Valus is just bringing one up just bringing a skeleton up that's just impressive yeah it's a it's a nice parlor trick but it doesn't really doesn't really get me anywhere <laughs> yeah. I'm in a cup of coffee cup of coffee gonna get you where you need to be yeah, yeah probably <laughs> it's, just, it's just gonna pour Big tall cup of coffee, just <laughs> slide it over on the counter towards him. Yeah. Drink the entire thing in like one drink, despite it being scalding hot. <laughs> <laughs> so thirsty. Uh, yeah, we've been uh, we've been dead a while. Haven't had a good drink of anything. Let me pour you another. That yeah, one's enough. It tastes like shit. It tastes like lemons. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your afterlife like, by the way? Since we're sitting down and having whatever uh, that is. Well, some of it I don't remember. There were there were moments of pain and agony, and then and then I was I was reunited. Uh, we were acquainted with us with a ship. Really, you went straight point, back to the ship. I'm not sure how it happened. I, I think, I think it was uh, perhaps Kiki that summoned me there, or that I was drawn to wherever she was. Because one of the first things I remember was stumbling across her on the on the deck of the ship. After what seemed like, no, I don't even know how long. Did you? It's from the power of friendship. <laughs> I told you this before. Just tell them the truth. It's the power of friendship. Kiki, I don't know anything about that. Were you on the Neptune shame when you were alive? Has it always been your home? No, I, I haven't always been there, but it is my home. So this blanket is a close second. How did you get to the Neptune shape? Well, it was really dark for a while. I remember. I don't remember. I know. We were on the ship, Ballas. We were on the sea's ravage and it wasn't going well. And then, and then things went really black for a very long time. And I woke up on the, on the Neptune. With all the skeletons. She's gonna poke her head out a little bit. 
I was there for a... Well, time... I don't really know how to explain it. She sees the skeleton that Val has brought up. Oh, you brought up Leroy! <laughs> I named them all. They're all my friends. And how do you know that this one is Leroy? Oh, he's got a little little chip in his clavicle. You can see it. I sat close to it a lot because we sat and talked a lot. He's the best listener. <laughs> I go over and indeed the chip is in the clavicle. <laughs> Don't say. Hmm? I, I, I go for and I make myself a toddy this time. It's a lot, lot to take in at this point. So I make myself a hot toddy and grab another strip of bacon. Can you bring me more bacon? <laughs> I bring the entire tray over to the table. <laughs> <laughs> she just assumes it's hers, so she'll just bring it under her blanket mm -hmm. again. <laughs> Harshnag's been cooking whole, like actual whole hog. He has actual three whole hogs going over on his side. Small roast. <laughs> right, sir. And big bones. Quit looking at me. <laughs> so, you want to go back to Water Deep, eh? This is the plan? Is that where the party's at? Dallas, we're gonna go to a party. A party? Yes. At a time like this? Uh, we have time to go to a party? Uh, I just thought it would be fun. Yeah, I'm sure it would be. If there wasn't a giant Malachar, cynical beast, threatening to destroy everything. Listen, Valus, there's always something threatening to destroy everything. That doesn't mean you have to stop everything else. Since when is there always something trying to destroy everything? Well, you've been we gone for a while. Quest in Nightstone? Mm -hmm. you've, been, you've been gone for a while. Um, the world is a lot worse than you thought. Goddamn giant ordering screwed everything up. Mm -hmm. And uh, you might have missed a few things. <gasps> Senegal, so, but small portion of this. Do we Yancy have the ben? Do we have the time to to waste? Yes. I think it's not wasting. This is also a opportunity to learn a few things. <laughs> it's just gonna walk from around the counter and go over to Valus. He's actually wearing Chikios's apron <laughs> since he's taking over <laughs> cooking duties. <laughs> yes. With the pan in one hand and the spoon in the other, he's going to put the spoon hand on Valus's shoulder. There's always time for a party, my friend. That's a lesson you need to learn. I think... I think that you've gotten soft since I died. I think he's going to look at their apron. So the apron, I finally decided, it's got a night hag embroidered on it, but with, like, <laughs> big, voluptuous lips. Mmm... <laughs> The, his, the history that I remember would have charged into battle, especially if it were to protect the world. Well, the history that you remember was before I had a giant snatch your body from my arms and chew you like you were a piece of fucking bubble gum. You're still on about that. I'm over it. Why aren't you? It's okay to have good moments every now and then can't always go around running around putting yourself in harm's way without something to enjoy it. Why are you doing it? See? Listen to Chikios. Now, have some fucking bacon and let's go to a party. Then, we'll deal with the rest of this shit. There will always be more shit. He's gonna, he's gonna eat, a, eat a slice of bacon, chew on it, he's like, gonna kind of sit and think well I have been dead a while so I suppose the party might be interesting <laughs> good <laughs> you can see if that old pecker year still works and he's <laughs> gonna try and hit you with the crotch with the spoon is it broken <laughs> 
It's fine. What's wrong <laughs> with it? It's been dead. <laughs> you see, Hister, if you refuse the party one more time, I was going to make the assumption that the undead couldn't get drunk anymore. Who was being I can get drunk? Oh. In fact, you and I still have a wager. That we do. Well, you know, and the funny thing about that wager is uh, Emery is uh, working up some number two ale. <laughs> Smell that mash? Mm. Right about right now. Hopefully it tastes better than this coffee. I can't promise that. <laughs> He's a talented fucking brewer, but he puts some weird <laughs> fucking adjuncts in his shit. <laughs> You're going to have to roll on that brew as we've made you roll. All right. 19? How many of my times am I rolling? We've, we've had to roll three times. 16. That one. <laughs> Oh no! Well, that's good because he's he's gotten done with the brewing part. It's 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 the whole uh, uh, bottling process that goes awry this time. <laughs> Breaking balls everywhere, <laughs> slipping on the ground. He's got just a little too much charge in those bottles, and you can hear him from where we're at. Is all of a sudden. Smashing bottles everywhere. <laughs> Chicken Are you okay in there? Fine, I'm fine. Maybe one of us should go check up on him. <laughs> We're all gonna look at you. Ah, <laughs> fine. I'll be the nice one. <sighs> Are you okay? I heard noise. Everybody's worried. You're to do to walk in to me, just like. <laughs> Covered in beer foam, <laughs> in glass everywhere. <laughs> just glass oh. in my hands, and everything. <laughs> just you are not blood okay. And, <laughs> blood and beer foam everywhere, all over. <laughs> what uh, did you so, do? This is shh, nothing. This is part of the process. You don't this know. Is, this is not the you process. Don't make, you don't make beer. You don't know. You come in here. You have to see this. This is a <laughs> No, no, no! Don't tell them. No, no, don't tell them. Like there's everywhere. This is I not hope between you them. like blood in your drinks. This is this is terrible. Get out of here. Oh. You need help. Come here. Get out of here. We are going to help clean up this mess. I'm going to find a broom. Do I find a broom? Uh, okay. The broom is actually in the hand of the skeleton. And as you look, the skeleton is over there running itself into the wall multiple times, still sweeping it. <laughs> Leroy, Leroy, <laughs> come here. Come here. He's a great listener, so he hears me. <laughs> just just keep sweeper botting. Come on, come, <laughs> come here. Like, like taking the hand of your your elderly old grandma. You like, oh, oh like you get him turned the right way. He starts going to town, sweeping, uh, you know, everything up. Full beer bottles that have even been capped and that are okay that haven't exploded. Overall, you're uh -huh. gonna lose half of your. Uh, Half of the beer you were trying to brew, uh, <laughs> after all the all the bottles start popping, you just go ahead and keg off the other the, the other rest of it. So uh, you know, you, you, we pretty much cut out Harshnag's Harshnag sip is gone. We got enough for us <laughs> to enjoy, but Harshnag's totally getting the shaft on this one. <laughs> Come here, but I'm gonna take whatever he's got in his hands. Those broken bottles, like go wash your hands. You are disgusting. Go. You, you're disgusting. You don't know anything about this. You smell like rotten meat. Why are you coming at me? You mean to tell me you did this on purpose? You this didn't. Is part, this is part of the process. This is not, I told this you. This is you not understand. the process that happened last time. Listen, you guys asked me to do this because you like the beer. You like the ale. This Why is how it's made. This is how it's it? done. You guys. Listen. listen you listen. We have been friends way too long for you to not feel comfortable to say you made a mistake. This is a mistake that is okay. We will laugh a lot at you and then you can move on. I'm gonna make a mistake. You're a mistake. And he's gonna, he's gonna storm out of the room. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Chikios comes in and takes one of the bottles that's not broken. <laughs> and then he reaches for a second bottle that's not broken. He takes them out <laughs> over to oh, uh, Dante. Oh, these bottles have Emery's blood on them. <laughs> Chikios ain't scared. He's gonna wipe this shit off. Just, spat, just spatters of blood on the bottles. <laughs> on the labels. Like, 
<laughs> Looks like fucking Dexter's been through this <laughs> joint. Just gonna hit an artery or something. Just <laughs> like a crime scene. Good God. This is a massacre in here. Oh, getting queasy. Uh, going, going back outside. <laughs> I'm casting yeah. press to digitation. <laughs> the Emory's gonna, Emory's gonna uh, clean up and uh, wash his hands, and he's going to uh, pull out all the glass and, and like bandage the wounds. But then uh, he doesn't want anybody to see his hands all cut up, so he's gonna like find a pair of leather gloves and like. Like fancy that matches fancy pirate coat, some fancy leather gloves, and uh, put those on. <laughs> yeah, because that's normal to wear big giant leather gloves. Yep. <laughs> I want everybody to give me a perception check. <clears throat> I feel like this is an omen. I get scared when you else ask us to do that. <laughs> 16 for Emery. 19 for Hister. 8 for Voss. 24 yeah. for Ruby. Kiki has... Disadvantage with the blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Disadvantage yeah, actually, probably. Yeah. Does Kiki, she even... Yeah. No. She cannot detect temperature. She is in the coziest of the coziest hot vob holes. It's uh -oh. all very hot and bacony smelling on the inside. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Just yeah. that hot bacon and brown schwager. <laughs> Listen, you guys should all be jealous. This is <laughs> just gonna the little meat pot over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds ideal if you ask me. Yay. It's gotten chilly. Got a little chilly. It's um it's like tailgate weather at this point. Mm. Uh up in the clouds. You, you can tell you're you're not um you're not in the tropical region uh, above uh, salt marsh like you were before. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely gotten a little bit colder. That that breeze whipped through and it, oh, oh. and as you can see, there's actual um, actual heating units that are kicking on outside. These lanterns are periodically lighting up. Uh, we we also have a. Uh, we have a heat, heat, heat controlled patio. <laughs> like the like greatest beer garden kitchen ever. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it like the floors have floors have heating elements in them too? Oh, 100 percent. He's decked oh. this thing. This is a this is one big steam powered fucking castle at this point. Pit my ride, courtesy of Dante Alfonso. <laughs> Come to Dante Alfonso's. Pimp your cloud <laughs> castle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the, the whole cat house has been rigged for it too. They all have uh, they all have boilers and uh, steam going too. through. Yep. Cat house. What am I the supposed to house. call it? What, the what? cat house has heated floors. You can sit your bare ass right Just on it. Call it our home. <laughs> well, it's the cat it house. It looks like a cat. It's got a cat. It looks like a cat. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but... a tail. It's a cat it's house. Get your, get, your, get your mind out of the gutter. We're up in the clouds. <laughs> 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 There's no society here. Oh. Yeah, quit, yet. quit judging yourself. <laughs> yeah, you why, why don't you sit down and check in on your kid too? You're gonna be a bad absentee parent as sister. You want to live in a cat house? You live in a cat house. That's fine. Nobody's judging. <laughs> I'm never making anything nice for you all again. <laughs> it's really nice. We got pictures of bare buttocks that double as safes, and we have rooms. Oh, and... God. We have a wonderful place. Got a Roomba? <laughs> Got a Roomba. Oh my god. You may have to refresh your uh your roll twenty. <laughs> uh, we should um probably at least tell Dante to uh order Ruby if you want to take the wheel. You haven't taken the wheel in quite some time. I'm on it. I'm on it. You know, you could uh point us to uh the water deep? That would be cool. Easy. She's Wait, gonna, huh? we're letting the cat drive this place. I've always Not the first time she's place. driven it. I'm the captain here. You can. You do. You do me. remember that she was the. Oh, she's a potato thief, right? <laughs> Some of us can move up in life. It's come a long way from being a tuber. 
I'm both still technically. <laughs> if I see potato, I will take it. Speaking <laughs> speaking of uh <laughs> speaking of nightstone, you guys uh you guys remember that uh that stuff we found underneath the bed in that that farmer's house? Hmm. Oh. You, you remember yes. that funky hat, the the sheep hat? Oh, the hat. Uh um, remember that hat? That was a cool hat. <laughs> Whatever happened to that thing? Yeah, the hat. <laughs> the hat. Of course, yes! the hat. Yes! <laughs> this is the whole reason we need Valus to come back out! Yeah. I'm almost 100% certain that in canon, Ruby has never said she took that hat off. She has never taken no. it off. No. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to bring that boy up again. No. I'm pretty sure she's never taken that hat, that, that boots hat off. No. This is time. No. time. I'm pretty no, sure we, we've talked about it with, uh, after the spell before, and she tried to throw it off once post episode. Yes. <laughs> well, this, is, but this is what we're going to do. You may not have wore it in a combat, but that thing's like your security blanket. You put that thing on like jammies. Like that thing, like nighttime comes uh, out. You put that every time you run sideways through a room, you're wearing that cheap hat. <laughs> you can't say that after I take a drink. <laughs> Oh god, that's, that's what I was saying. It creeps you out because he's wearing the sheep's hat. You know, you don't think it's Just Ruby at first. Then the hat on with, with the hands in in the little yeah things that hang down. She goes for like midnight raves, She's like this, <laughs> sneaking around sideways, <laughs> shuffling around. I was learning. I was young. How could you teach me? <laughs> Shuffled sideways in the dark like that. Oh, oh, man. Fine. In the secret of the night, I wear it still. <laughs> whatever, whatever happened to that uh, that hat? It's mm. nothing you need to concern yourself with. <laughs> okay, it's a strange reaction, but what about the um? Oh yeah, what about the what about the other stuff? What happened to the pickles? Uh, I regret to inform you, uh, Valis. One of them is my ass right now. <laughs> got... This has been there you... the entire time. That doesn't surprise me. If you, for you to unclick it, you have to come over here and push on my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> <Hip to tip. laughs> I, I don't know who, who, who has all the pickles at this point. I haven't seen them in so long. Uh, it's either Emery or Ruby. One of them has in their bags. Those two are constantly <laughs> fighting over who they want to keister. Somebody <laughs> took one from me during Yon Bin fight. Emery has both of them. So... That is when I lost my coat because I threw it at him and I never <laughs> got it back. I'm pretty sure one of those pickles saved Emery's life at some point. Well, what good is that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're very disgusting. <laughs> I'm considering Cheeky was even trying to kill him once. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. So you guys, you guys just let the guy who killed me Oh, oh no! My shit oh, no. after I died. Has no. that happened? Cheeky was trying to kill him. No, no. The thing is, if you whoever kills you gives all your stuff. Mm. That's, that's fair. You know, that's fair. I did take, I did take Jerry's swords. Mm. You also didn't have a will. So what else were we supposed to do? I had a will. Where? You're, where was your will? You didn't give it. It was in my boot. boot. Your boot? Who keeps a will in their boot? <laughs> It's probably the same boot that's lodged in that fucking hill giant that's killed somewhere outside of Nightstone. Yeah. So uh, what was in your will? What would should we have done, sir? Burn everything I own. What? Well. The stupid will, I would have burned it. Exactly. It also specified to burn the will. Fun, <laughs> fun interesting <laughs> facts while you were dead, Valis. Um, uh... I I went to the Fey for a quite uh, a long period of time, um, a very long period of time actually. And uh, when I came back, I indeed tried to kill Emery. And uh, yeah, how'd that go? Obviously, you weren't very successful. That was close. Um, and I've regretted it, and we have made our peace since then. And. Uh, in a twist of fate, uh, Jerry actually sacrificed himself for all of us. At least he thought he was. Ruby did all the heavy lifting, but Jerry... Jerry thought he was saving everyone. And for Jerry, that is impressive enough. 
is the thought that counts, really. He, uh, well, you know, that he came after the Goblin King. He really did it. Jerry really was, did. uh, you know, I kind of like Jerry. He was yeah. a good person. I didn't think much of him as a fighter. I mean, what kind of what kind of warrior loses his weapons in a battle? <sighs> a warrior that has to hold a post at Nightstone. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not going to get uh, a, a fair amount of work and swordsmanship at that post. Did, no... uh, so you you guys obviously you traveled with Jerry a little a little bit after after I was gone, but did um before he died did he ever did he ever get to dance? <laughs> oh, he I danced. Remember, I remember Jerry was a dancer. He had dreams dreams of dancing. Oh, Jerry. Actually, actually, he... Yes. Oh, Jerry. He danced. Jerry danced. That he did. Yeah, good for him. Uh, Jerry did dance. It's a weird dream, but, you know, it's, uh, it's whatever. <laughs> Don't judge it. Everybody's allowed their own dream. That's right. You know, I was saying, I think it's weird, but that's, you know, that's me. But... I don't know if Chaz ever heard about that, but Jerry did dance. It's... <laughs> I can't remember. Is Chaz still alive? Did he? Who's Chaz? Chaz. Oh. Chaz was his buddy. Oh, he was that little night stone. That uh, yeah, that little little coward. Yeah, a uh, little coward that healed a couple of us a few times. Yeah, that was actually very helpful. Yeah, Chaz did. Chaz did live. He, he is. He was in the Order of the Gauntlet as well, wasn't he? Yeah, but from what Jerry told us, he stayed back at Nightstone to help with the rebuilding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we can hope as we ever got a friend in that town, we know where to find him. I don't want to think, I'm, since we're bringing up memories and cool things, no one take this. But remember when we were sheriffs? Don't go to where I want you think you're thinking, but. <laughs> I just, just going to raise his eyebrow. Go. I just go. go. Ding. <laughs> It you, uh, was cool that we have that authority, and that's the only part of that story we're talking about. We have to go Who back and visit with... Ruby's boyfriends and bring Shandor at some point in time. Boyfriend. She hit him so hard, he gave her six badges. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to say, who would, who would make you a sheriff, but now, now it makes sense. You are underestimating how much power I have these days. I am a doctor. I was queen of the fae when we went to go visit that other crazy lady up top. I can drive and captain this ship. I am also she a sheriff. It's quite successful. I have the longest resume. Titles. How 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 long was I dead? I feel like it would have taken at least three years for her to make up all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you may not believe it, but they witnessed it. You have been dead for a lot of important life events, is what I would say. Also, <laughs> look at the teachers around me. Look at history, Kikios. Mm. How could I not become so great? Mm. So true. These are, these are your these are your role models. I I oh. bend over and I give a bow and I wiggle my little uh, my little floof tail. I don't have it out nearly enough. We are <laughs> the finest adventurers in all the land. We are saving the world. <laughs> you guys want to go to a party instead of saving the world. Her and Hister have uh, produced a dragon son. Uh, I am not a mother. You? This is something I never want to be. I am not she, a mother. Have, have a she dragon? was perfectly fine with... Uh, yes, you need to meet Dante. Uh, I point he out. going to be my sidekick. <laughs> He's still all of our sidekicks. That's true. He is a very pretty sidekick now. Yes. Did you not know he was a dragon? Uh. Alice? I don't know. Is it um? Is it I don't, rude? I don't know anything? I just I just got here. Oh, that's right. Is it rude if I? No, it's not. I, I change in and out of form all the time, and I change completely back into my my fey elf form, my Eldrin form, and I go out to uh to Dante. And you can see me just talking for a second. You see Dante sits down his wine and he sits down his book and uh, kind of clears the space out. 
and there is a massive full adult size red dragon in the middle of our courtyard right now. Like he is <laughs> bent down. He is doing everything to make sure that he does not bust the electricity that he has run inside this area. It's just gonna look over and go, God damn, that's a lot bigger than the little dragon I was feeding at the Black Cottage Beef Bar. We have a, we have a dragon and usually, you, why didn't you lead with this? <laughs> uh, one. Uh, this is important information. The last, the last time we were even in an encounter, he was the size of a dire wolf. Uh, mm -hmm. He was n not that yet. He, we, we messed around with some magical beans. Is how we got here. Yeah, I bet you did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he throws it up. He, he's he's laid. And Ruby threw it, and that's how she became the mother. And then when we named it Dante Alfonso, she rejected it. <laughs> it remember. is not the name that I would have chosen, but that's okay. His name is that now, and we will live with that. Dante Alfonso was carved into the stone in this room, and it, it was fitting. We did, did not know who Dante Alfonso was, so we gave him the name Dante Alfonso. Mm. Is Dante gonna stay in dragon form or is he? No, no, he quickly moves back down into his uh, his half elf form. The Volus is going to walk up to him and keeping his hand kind of on his chin, examining him. He's, just, he's kind of just like examining him as if he's uh, a, a tool and not even a person. <laughs> you're he's, looking him up and down, he sets his, his book down. But, so he's a dragon, but yes. can you trust him? Is, he, is he reliable? As much as I can trust an undead. And he sticks mm. his hand out. It is a pleasure to meet you, Valis. I've heard everything literally about you. Valis is going to, uh, as he does that, he's going to actually turn around, turn his back to him to walk away, but then quickly spin back around with his sword and I want to try to intimidate him by swinging his sword to his, like stopping it right in his throat. All right, roll an intimidation check. I want to see what he'll do. Um, Ruby's just rolling her eyes. Dumb. Uh, 17. Oh wait, oh, that's Emery. Sorry, one second. Uh, intimidation. Oh, 19. Yeah. 19. All right, as you go and spin around and stopping that blade right at the right at the jugular as you spin and you look over into dante's eyes it is is red hair is flowing in the wind and everything is very very human about his demeanor except for his eyes and when you look into him you can see just this red deep flame that rolls up into it as you have that sword pointed at his throat mm -hmm. I don't know I want there for a moment as you hold for a moment I need you to make a wisdom saving throw oh god <laughs> <laughs> wisdom saving throw gifts of the reason you need to be at the oh. live show why <laughs> don't do that to keep me ever uh... again <laughs> You're the one who did it to Kiki. I mean, she don't look like that. She's natural. That's something with uh. <laughs> Second, uh, I think it's a nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. Nineteen. Thought I had something that gave me advantage on was saving throws, but <laughs> oh god, I don't, I don't know where it's at. Sikyo sent that doge to get you. Oh, oh no gosh, way. I have uh, advantage against being charmed and magic can't put me to sleep. Okay, different. Okay, cool. Yeah. So just just a 19? 19, yeah. All right. As you stare with that blade pointed forward, and it's just a just a, a just a standoff at this point.
Those flames grow higher and higher before it looks like you don't see anything else around you. And at that point, you look around and all you see is a circle. Circle pit and the surrounding is flames. (sighs) And from the side of the flames walks Dante. Just look around, you're no longer on what looks like the same plane. As Dante casts dreams, as he facets and walks through the fire and facets two gloves on either side, and he throws you a rapier over to the other side and pulls his out on his side. Fine. If you want to do this, let's do this. Nothing personal. No, not at all. And and Voss is going to instantly go uh, drawing that rapier, just just swinging it overhead to it to attack. That's where we're going to take a first break. Yeah! No! <laughs> Dream fight! I was getting ready to get the popcorn out. I'm okay. gonna sit here. <laughs> hey, not everybody gets to take four runoff breaks to go get the fill up like you, Hister. Hey, you know what? That's the nice thing I've been having in my fridge right there. I know. I'm so jealous of it. I have to go all the way up the stairs. All, all of my whiskey bottles are empty on the floor. <laughs> that's, that's the sign of quarantine, my friend. That's the sign of quarantine. quarantine. Fencing in hell, boys. My floor right now is littered littered with scotch bottles. Bees. (laughs) And 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 empty Dragon Dragon Ball Ball Super card wrappers. They're literally all over the floor. Go. I feel like it's a secret trap, so I can't sneak up on them because they're covered. (laughs) That's a a strategy. That's a strategy. strategy. (laughs) Go. I have (laughs) chat. Go. Go. Get your stuff. We're going to take a break. (laughs) Go, Go get a refill. Go use the restroom. I've got these wonderful individuals. Yeah, legit, you're totally able to roll for cards. All you gotta do is hit a 20. Oh, yeah. We still got cards left in the deck? That's nice. All right, you guys. What's the command? Like I remember. I do believe if you're going for stream loots, it's the mill drop. Can't roll the dice? Are you rolling and it's not appearing? Don't make me burn a mill to find out. I'll do it. Uh, I don't think we've hit spark max yet, though. Yeah, Spark Max is 35. There's still a couple of mil between uh, where we are and where Spark Max is. So you still got a chance to grab some packs. You want to burn those. It is all up to you, my friends. It is all up to you. Dude, it's good to have an RP session tonight, especially with this campaign where we've been. It has been an ass whooping. Literally, we've gone from battle to battle to battle to battle with very little RP in between. So it's nice to have a chance just to sit down and and bullshit with this crew and and catch up with somebody who up until this point, you know, has been dead to it that we fought with, but never really had the chance to catch up with. So it's kind of a kind of a moment for us to be able to talk to Vallis since we lost him uh, outside of Nightstone. Oh, there's the dice. I see you rolling now. Let's go.
<laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of references to episodes one through like six. <laughs> By the way, the wooden pickles are rods of uh, um, immovable rods. I've always they, flavored them as wooden pickles in my campaigns. But they, they've come in so handy over the years. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I can say that because this is 52. We are into year two. <laughs> I mean, between, let's see, saving people in midair, immobilizing a giant wooden golem, countless jokes, including docking. <laughs> There you go. Now you got them rolls. Beautiful. Are they not showing up on the... Uh... I, 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 there was a slight hint that they might not have been, but I've seen them pop up, so... No, like on the screen. Uh, I saw them pop up. Uh, although, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing bot results. Aha. I don't know they're there. Right there. Robot. Locky rolled a four. Let me, let me. It just, just blame it on COVID-19. No, it's there. It's there. Okay. But I mean, we shouldn't like, there's not going to be a whole lot of cards flying up when we're RPing in the first place. So, uh, okay. Give me one second it. here. I, sh I really should have got. I, I really should have got oh. popcorn. Go. No, I'm not gonna pop popcorn, but I really want some right now because it's gonna be so good. <laughs> Baby boy like versus Valus. One night only. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> Quit. Valus so goes popcorn. into yeah. lunges into strike over the top. And <laughs> we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball. <laughs> 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 oh. I'm just infusing all of my anime fantasies into D&D &D. <laughs> oh, that's, that's why I can't wait to see this sword fight This is going to be so good I really wish the rest of us could see it As, you know, as, as people who are just Sitting in the kitchen right now As threatened baby boy with a goddamn sword And then I just lunge through him Straight through him with uh, Looks like I'm on a roller skate it's not, I, don't even, I don't even seem to move and for a second, we both stand there, and then I fall down dead. <laughs> and then all of the, and then all of a sudden, blood goes. That was the end of Alice. What are you drinking out of those tiny cups? Sake. sake. You told me there wasn't any sake. Yeah, there isn't because she's she drinking said it at all. the very beginning. In pre-roll, she was like, "Yep, I, drinking yeah, sake." I, I, I didn't hear that. Number one, I messaged today. When I was going out to get Korean food, and I was like, "Do we have sake at home?" Because I was wanting to heat some up and have some hot. No, sake. this is no, not good I know. for hot. You and I have a different no. opinion on sake. I like no. it. No, this isn't. And this, this is cheap sake. This type, so. this type isn't meant to be heated up. Whatever. The, the Either way, I just I happened asked. to find it. I didn't look when you asked. I just went from memory in my memory. Uh, so yeah, I do have some. That's very well, disheartening. My wife lies to me all the time. I didn't lie knowing. That's a relationship, bro. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. You'll be fine. Yeah, seriously. You got nine bottles of Glen Levitt sitting around your ankles. Yeah, they're empty. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Anyway, cheers. Didn't know I married a liar. <laughs> No, I was just clueless. <laughs> I think Great, I'd rather be a liar. Wait. <laughs> I can only imagine that, you know, it was a totally Ruby Shore moment when she found the sake. It was like, oh, I have this. I'm drinking this tonight because I know he wanted it. So I'm going to drink it. I just happened to seem like I didn't even connect the two. I didn't think I forgot that he had asked for it earlier. Just so pulled it up. Going through our small alcohol library, I thought, yeah, this sounds nice. Uh, let's this see. sounds A, B, nice. C, D, sake. Let's go. <laughs> the sting of your betrayal will 
cut me for the rest of my life. You know, here's the amazing thing. When you came home, all that's in one place, you could have easily just looked. Yeah, I know, but I did this thing, this weird thing where I trusted you, and that was the last time <laughs> I made that mistake. <laughs> yeah, that's on you, buddy. Amazing. <laughs> you help me. <laughs> next, time, next time you say something, and then I question it, and you're like, why, would, why do you question everything I say? I'll be like, you remember the sake? <laughs> <laughs> That's your safe word now, sake. <laughs> Good luck. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Totally happy marriage here. <laughs> totally I mean, fine here. Who's wrong? I'm no the one, one who has the sake. <laughs> 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 no comments, Your Honor. Papers are in the mail. Papers All right. Are in the mail. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> you forced my hand. <laughs> oh, one second. I'll be right back. Where is he going? He's gonna go shit himself in fear. <laughs> Either that, or he's trying I, to find some sort of weapon. I had to make oh, yeah. a. Uh, uh, I had to make Dante's human form. <laughs> you have the sword that he was looking for. No! Actually, and the other one's up on the wall. It actually connects and locks in. You have, you have a sword that docks? Yes. Don't say. Don't. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. These are my weapons. Sorry, my camera looks like it was going to overheat, so I didn't want it to do that in the middle of this fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> we all thought you were looking for a weapon. Oh, no, I've got a... I've got a weapon. Indiana Jones style. Oh, God. <laughs> do you, I can bring you the pirate sword. Do you want that instead? Do you have my cutlass? Yes. Yes, bring it to me. Okay. Yes, bring it to me. <laughs> I have all, bring it I have all the important all. things in our life. All right, you can continue on all. <laughs> Shut up. All right. In that circle of flames, JRPG style, Come at me, bro. All right, uh, Valus is going to drawing that sword, just taking a uh, a very uh, a piratey cutlass uh, step with his right foot and leading out over the top just to attack. Go for am it. I with, am, I, am I rolling with the swords here? Uh, yeah, you got a. Uh, you have, have a, swords. you have a standard standard rapier. It'll be the same as let's see here. Uh, just put a equip a plus two rapier. Okay. Mm. And oh, it's a plus. Man, it's a plus ten to hit for me. Jesus, 25. <laughs> 25. All right, as you come with that first strike, Dante is going to use his uncanny dodge. It will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. <laughs> In this state, are we taking real damage to our physical bodies? You don't Do know, know that. Okay, great, cool. Mm. All right. I'm so excited. You made me, uh, made me rush to go make Dante's human form. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Here we go. got to do that real quick. Mm. Quick with the blade, I see. Well, let's see if you can handle this. Dante begins casting a spell. I think Ball says counter spell. I just need to double check that. Actually, he doesn't. I don't think. Nope, he does not. Uh. 
Dante multiplies into three other forms of himself. As you have a Dante now one on each side of you, north, south, east, west. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, I thought this was going to be a proper sword duel. I didn't realize we were getting fancy. Dante is going to slide in and roll to attack. I'm going to public roll it. He also has a plus 10. Oh, nice. I'm sure he's got way more hit points than I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just still his human form. So it's, it's a regular, it's a level 13. Okay, yeah, Valus has got 30 points less than Emery does at this level. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh yeah, he definitely hits. Uh, I, I will. Um, oh, the sword was by me the whole time. Took it from me. Stole it from him. Here we go. Oh, there, oh nice cutlass. <laughs> I got it. Um, I will. Uh, well, oh, okay. Did you say what you rolled yet? Yeah, I, I definitely hit. Uh, all right. Is it higher than a 20? It's 27. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, never mind. And actually, it was a 30 because I have a I have a plus 13. Oh, wow. Yeah, baby boy, uh, let's go! So I will, yeah, that, that'll hit. That one will hit. <laughs> All right. He's gonna do 15 points of piercing damage. Now I get to roll my sneak attack. Your copies give you sneak attack? Yeah, that's why he cast it was for the distraction. God damn. 7d6. Oh shit, this fight's gonna be over before it starts. Dante does 23 points. Oh no fucking way. <laughs> it's a little bit. Um. <clears throat> so, <laughs> I want to wow. try something. Uh, I don't. I don't. Strategies. I don't know how this will because I've never done this before. Uh, would would be would being mounted give me any sort of any sort of perks or advantage here? Being mounted is on like a undead steed. As as in on like a phantom steed. On like a phantom steed, I mean they're 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 Never mind, to... I can't. it's way too long to cast. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> Twenty minutes later. Hold on, give me eleven minutes. Give me eleven <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Damn, I was gonna plot Phantom Steed and ride around. Never it's, mind. Dante strikes true as you're not able to guess which side Dante is actually on anymore as one from the east side stabs and goes through your rib cage. We're going to have to think faster than that, my friend. He's gonna um, stay in place. <clears throat> Hold on, one second. <laughs> He's like, I am not losing this fight. Hold on. One second. Um, oh, yeah. I've been dead for 42 I, I, I episodes. Check, what do you my, want? I had to try to check my stream loot cards. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's going to get the stream loot on me. Burn, so baby, I, uh, burn. I, uh. Oh. Um. I am going to ch -ch 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 -ch. 
I'm going to first cast Magic first Missile. Cast, no. <laughs> Fireball. Fireball. I'm going to first cast Tidal Wave on the uh, on the the area here. Um, 30 feet long up to 10 feet wide. Uh, so 10 feet tall. So I'm going to cast Tidal Wave to try to I, I don't know where these guys are positioned but I assume they're close enough to that I can hit all of them <laughs> to hit all of them is to also hit yourself because there's one on each side of you um Yeah, you know what? I'll do it anyway. Cast and tidal wave down on all of us. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, it's gotta be a deck save deck on sa for everybody. <laughs> deck saves. I love oh, it. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> my my dexterity saves. Oh, how high are they? Seventeen. <laughs> I I save on mine. Yeah, my deck saves are a plus 10. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Looks like everybody Net saves. 20, baby! Oh, Dante! Uh, for the sake of brevity, I will have... I will have Dante succeed with a nat 20 on his. I will have the tid tidal wave come up and over and completely slam into those other forms and have them dissipate away. Okay, we're taking uh, half damage, both of us. Oh, I guess uh, he didn't. Does he take damage on the nat 20? Nat 20, no. All right, then I will take, take no damage. damage. <laughs> I'll Why take do you keep hitting damage. yourself? But then I'm using uh, I'm using action surge card. <laughs> 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 When this flame, when this tidal wave comes up and over and rushes through, it spills out and it washes out the flame. Mm. And where that flame once was, was the barrier to the real world. Ruby, Hister, everybody else in the group, you can currently see them, their physical bodies locked into position and there is an ethereal ring in forms of them both fencing at this point that you can see. Oh. oh. It's just gonna reach down and grab some bacon <laughs> and hand a raw piece over to Ruby. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Get a baby boy! <laughs> I hope this Man. is a good fight. Just like, I'm just like uh, second guessing all my choices here because uh, <laughs> Seems to have like a plus 10 to everything. Did you just go offline? You did. You just popped offline, bro. Me? Yeah. I'm not offline. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you are for me. Yeah, it shows offline Same. for me too. Uh-huh. Yep, 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 yep. Uh -huh. That's... Thanks, Mixer. Solid. Yeah, it's not me. That's Mixer site went down. Oh, okay. No shit. Oh, wait a second then. God, he's just got so little health. <laughs> it really does. Like, 54 is my max yeah, HP. <laughs> oh, we should be back up online for everybody. Yep, there you are. You're yeah, back. We're good. We're good. Yeah, that one's actually right. not me. Like when mine goes down, like I'll I usually see it. God, I have. Mm. I'm going to. Uh, <clears throat> I got two options I'm considering here, but I don't know which one's the better choice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't because I don't know what he's got. You know, like. Well, you've hard. seen it now. He has sneak attack. You know, he's level thirteen. Yeah. I still more of a like you know. His, his saves and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, well, you know, dexterity's real dexterity's high. Dexterity's way fucking high. I know that's why I'm thinking about doing this other one. 
<laughs> uh, you know what? Oh, Val's killed the stream with Tidal Wave. I like it. Can it. <laughs> so as that as that Tidal Wave comes down, um, as that Tidal Wave comes down. I will, uh, Valus will use that as a, uh, as a, is, is Dante phased at all by that or is he just steadfast? Oh, with that nat 20, he just rolled right through that bitch like he was a ship. Okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to raise my hand to bring down that tidal wave. And as I do, as I like follow through, I'm going to, I'm going to swing it right back up. Um, and as I do this uh, green mist, uh, like gas, basically uh, using the wave is kind of trying to use it as a distraction, coming back up and flinging this gas out of my hand, casting blight. It's got to make a constitution save. Constitution save. At the seventh level, I'm casting blight. Oh, 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 oh. Good Holy gosh. shit. Someone serious. I, I have a plus one. Yes! Come on. Please don't kill Dante. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's six. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna fail. Oh, buddy. All right, let me do the math on this. It's 11 D8. Hold on. Mudcat, you got a 1d6 inspiration. Let's go. What? Someone out there is looking for you. Forty-nine points of necrotic damage. Uh, now the chronic wave washes over. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. If you target a plant creature, that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, okay. 49 points of necrotic damage. 49 points of necrotic oh. damage. <laughs> Using action surge, cast that wave down, and then in the, in a attempted distraction with that, fling up and gas in the face. Blight. <coughs> <laughs> As he grabs his throat, and you guys can see. Dante is already a, a, a skinny guy, and it's you can see his skin sucking down to the bone even a little bit more. As he just looks extremely dehydrated. Well then, you too have tricks up your sleeve. going to spin his sword back around. This is bonus action. He brings forth another spectral sword that appears. Yes! And he's going to send that spectral sword wrapping around your body as it spins, stopping at your right side, and he's going to lunge forward with his sword again. I dare hard this, both of you! Oh, I forgot. I'm not rolling physical dice. He's going to attack again. Make sure this is good and interesting. This is a plus 13. So that's a God. 16 to hit. Um, I will use arcane deflection and that won't hit. All right. First attack misses. He will use his second this time. That'll be a 24. That'll hit. <laughs> He's going to do 16 points of piercing damage. That's gonna put me down. Oh. 
Get up! Get your butt up! <laughs> Come on, Ballas! Well played, Dante! Well played! By the way, I only have 24 hit points left. Damn it! <laughs> I was worried, dude. When you cast, I was like, oh shit! You yeah, may get me! If I'd have rolled better on some of those dice, like. Oh. I rolled a bunch of uh, several ones. And as you fall to the ground. It drops and you open up your eyes and you're back in the same spot that you were still holding that blade to Dante's throat. And the, still holding the holding the blade out of his throat. And, a, and then sheathe it and uh, assuming his hand is still outstretched, I'm going to shake his hand and say, all right, then. I think uh, I think we can make a nice team. Tidal wave was a clever maneuver. I've never yeah, had anyone remove my multiplicity before. Thank you. And Dante. I a little bit of distraction was in order in that case. Bends down and kind of gives you a regal bow. Ballas isn't gonna know what to do with that. He's gonna be like. <laughs> Just stands there. <laughs> I turned to his store. I was expecting more blood. Oh, that was a that was a good fight. It was a clean fight. Well matched. Nah. That's they a good spar. Bigger. That it was a good spar. It was fine. It was in the dream world. There can be no blood, only emotional damage, Ruby. Oh, that's the worst kind. There are things worse than death. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll pick death. <laughs> Don't be so quick. Hey, you're the one who died in the dream world. <laughs> He's also died in real life, too. Oh, yeah, that's <sighs> true. Oh, <laughs> this. Don't consider this rude. But I've been wondering since they first talked about you and you've come back. Do you still poop? <laughs> I'm dead serious. It's been burning inside me for weeks now. Since we have met. And I've never met an undead and I have a crush between my fingers. I've never been back for weeks now? No, I've known. I've known about you for weeks. Oh, okay. You were uh, going to come back. And I've never I... actually talked to an undead. I didn't want to smash. I'm legitimately <laughs> well, well, Do you poop? Honestly, I haven't. Uh, I was only. Uh, I was only rejoined. I've only rejoined this plane of existence yesterday. I. And I haven't eaten, so your guess is as good as mine. Do you Although get I hungry? had that coffee earlier, so I think we'll find out. <laughs> Can we have rolled it and just have Kiki run off in the robes? <laughs> I gotta go! <laughs> she loves the blankets slowly getting trailed behind them, and she eventually lets go because it's slowing her down. Where can I go? <laughs> I Harsnag, I think that might be your answer. She just finds the closest bush <sighs> that she can hide inside. They are real. They are our friends. They are still our friends. They're Don't still look our over friends. here. I wouldn't get. Uh, I wouldn't get too excited. I don't know exactly how undead we are. We're in un uncharted waters. And Ruby, Ruby can show Kiki where the, well, actually, no, you, you didn't, you I, don't know this. Uh, no. Dante actually points that there are actually uh, French style <laughs> WCs that he's created over <laughs> on the side of the cat house. It's so a water fancy. closet. Full, so full. Kiki's in a bush right now, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's too late for her. <laughs> 
Leroy will pick it up. Dante, <laughs> Dante just sends Kiki a message. I, I don't mean to intrude into your mind, but if you want to clean Get up, out there's, right now. there is a WC, there's a water closet to the side of the cat house. Right now. I have a lot to learn. <laughs> very uncomfortable, very embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so glad that's the part that we get when channel one comes in. (laughs) Hello, channel one. Dante, I'm admittedly possibly a little rusty. I haven't uh, had the occasion to cross swords in a while, but when was, uh, where exactly have you learned to fight? You, you can't have had much practice up here on this cloud. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's all the practice I've had. And he pulls out a, uh, a, 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 a tome. This is, uh... What a kind's guide to fencing and other arcane sword needs. And he shows there is, there's a basic... Uh, whole level course in fencing and then it evolves using magic as a adjunct for your advantage I mean, I've been practicing on a, dummies for weeks there's a there's a book about sword fighting oh many I, 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 I cash up on new tomes every time that I would make it back to Neverwinter or I'm, I mean, uh, water deep. I've never. <laughs> I've only ever. Uh, all of my experiences come, uh, come practically. I didn't know there were. I didn't know anyone had written tomes on, on sword fighting. I'd be, I'd be interesting in borrowing one. Be interested in borrowing one if you'd care to lend one. Absolutely. And he grabs that home, rushes back, and stick. And he hands it to you. 24 hours. Dedicated into that home. Mm-hmm. I will let you pick a from a list of spells that Dante has learned that involve magic sword fighting. Oh, dope. Because you're a wizard as well. So you can yeah. you can you can learn through his his tomes. Dope. But thank you for this. A fucking Locky Vows can't read. Must be a pop-up <laughs> book. He's, he's, <laughs> just over Lots here. of pictures. Just roasted. He's dropping hister style burns in chat. <laughs> That's okay. History's a dragon mourner who can't use fire. <laughs> Valus la, doesn't la, la, know burn. that. La 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 burn. But I do. <laughs> I'm glad thank, you shared you knowledge with someone who's interested with the art of the blade as much as I am. Well, I've been a, I've been a student of the, of the blade for, well, most of my life ever since I joined my first crew, but I've never had any any sort of yeah. teaching other than uh, the kind you the kind you get when you're trying to survive. <laughs> and there's something to be said for that. It's much easier to do something in a dream realm where there are no consequences and have all the panache you want in the world until it's for real and the blood is permanent. I have not experienced that. I have much to learn. Well, something tells me if you hang out with these guys too long, you're going to have to fight for your life at some point. That's fair. I... They're not known for playing it safe. <laughs> have once... Well, that's just boring. ...in my true form when I was much younger. And it was equally terrifying. Well, it seems uh, this time you've bested me, so 
Perhaps I will peruse this book and maybe next time you won't be so fortunate. I look forward to the next time, Valis. And Valis is actually gonna kind of just give him a nod and, and take that book and sit down and assuming there's time, he's gonna read a little bit of it. Yeah, you actually, this. we actually do have time while we're up here. Um, Ruby, have you decided to go set the navigation? Yes. Seeing that the fight didn't have any blood, she's kind of bored and <laughs> makes her way upstairs, find the orb. As you make your way up past the gallery of the naked folks in the buttocks, all the way back up into Zephyros' chamber, it's familiar yet fresh because it's been tidied up. <laughs> it no longer it no longer looks like the World of Warcraft players hobbit hole where shit was all sprawled about. It has been cleaned and pristine. Navigational orb still in place. The difference this time, there is a well-fit picture of Zephyros that has been painted. And you can see it's actually signed Dante Alfonso down at the bottom, hung in frame. Looking out over the master navigational area. It's nice. It's like a, it's got that new car smell. Mm, she takes a deep breath in. Well, it's nice, but it's not right. She goes around the room and just kind of starts pushing things over and messing things up again. Just trying to get it back to its original state. It doesn't smell bad. It just looks messy. And you just rat nested up. Yes. Just throwing things in random places, wearing it out. <sighs> that was the most Han Solo moment of all time. Since <laughs> <laughs> so that music is you. I imagine kick back at this point in the chair. You're not even full two hands up on the globe. You're just like. I got Just this. Mm -hmm. Yep. <sighs> and she puts her paws on the globe. And at this point, there is no uh, more checks to roll for you. Mm. I'm a pro. And you get, you get that little static electricity. <laughs> and it, you don't actually hear it. It's as if you can still hear Zephyros in the back of your head just a little bit. Just like you would an elderly driver's ed teacher that you had. That tells you more gas, more go. As you hear the few words that he shared, as you set that course to water deep. And you don't have to remain there. You're able to put this thing into autopilot. Spend as much time as you want up in the uh, up in the cabin as you'd like. <clears throat> yeah, she's just gonna wander around and knock things over, kick it around very gently, but still ruin everything. <laughs> you, you hear something clamoring. going towards it Punk. as you look down somehow Leroy has gotten on the second floor how in God's Punk. name Punk. get out of here Punk. this is not a clean Punk. space Punk. <laughs> she, she just picks him up and lifts <laughs> it over her head and she walks back down you can't get up here this is not uh, how did you even get here there's no <laughs> stairs <laughs> You, you plunge him through the moon door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get <Sits down>. out. <sighs> Broom and all. Leroy hits the deck, and the rest of us are like, oh shit! <laughs> Clamors. No one comes up here without permission. <laughs> Slowly begins 
to re reassemble himself. <laughs> uh. I need everyone to roll a perception check. Mm. I'm going to be useless on this, and I'm a four. 18 for Valus. 16 for Emery. 25 and 7. Uh who who got the who got the 7? Kiki. Kiki still she's still holding on to her shame. Has it come yes. out has it come out of the bush yet? No. Uh, Emery, she's moved to another bush, but yes. Emery and Chikios both notice. Oh, man, it's getting a little bit colder, I guess cuz I guess we spent so much time down south. It's forgot how fucking cold the north was. And uh, Emery kind of rejoining the group this time with gloves on. Like, yeah, you know, it's not, it's not so bad. Uh, it's not so bad. I'm just not used to it. It's been so warm. Remind, reminds me of uh, a little bit of when I uh, when I found, uh, you know, Hister. Uh, frozen to death <laughs> yeah you're missing your fur hat uh, this, this, this fur hat uh, was uh, was was was, was uh, it left behind and he was not the only one our friend nightcock was frozen too he is still alive <laughs> yes he was he is still alive we haven't talked about that all morning he is still alive you believe that I gotta say that I, uh, I don't know if I do. I don't know why the, why, why the Jin would lie to us, but I, uh, you know, I, uh, I held his body in my hands. I pulled him down off the wall. If that's you held the body of his brother. Yeah, but even, even twins don't look that similar. I'm having a hard time really believing. It's not like he's... Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. This is uh, it's different. Even, Emory. even, even Emory. still, if, if I hadn't had seen it with my own eyes. You saw him trade Wenvane for his brother. What more do you need to know? I saw, I saw... Up in chains and that fucking wind god killed his brother. Crawfished on their fucking deal and screwed him in the ass. I saw, I saw what the gen showed us. As that, you know, as do we all, but I'm not, I'm not saying that he's not alive. I mean, I, I hope that he is, but I just, I'm having, I'm having a hard time kind of accepting it, you know? I'm having a hard time, really, it's not sinking in. Ruby's walking down the walls coming from his tower. Um... It doesn't matter if we accept it or not. It could be false, but in any case, we have to find out. And so, if anything, put your heart and your mind towards figuring out the truth. We will find Night Talk, whether he's alive or dead. But we will know the truth. In any case, we still have a. Uh, That's what we will. Alive or dead, we still have to. We still owe Sansuri a conversation, I think. <laughs> but with, like, weapons. <laughs> there is no doubt that we will have to encounter Sansuri as well. This Which? is exactly why we're going to this party. Hmm. We got Sansuri, we got Malakar. Two very fucking powerful enemies. We need some powerful fucking allies. Wait, what? We're going to a party? <laughs> That's right. You weren't here when we decided. My friend, we're going back to Waterdeep. Oh, we're, fuck yeah. <laughs> we're going to go see I'm gonna... Lord Zelron Roaringhorn. There. <laughs> We should look around. He's gonna pat himself down. Like, oh, I need to go get. I need to find my pipes. Where are my pipes at? 
for getting that ruby still has them, I think. Yeah, I do, but I'm not giving them. <laughs> They're mine now. I'm the bard. Why would you get them? Uh, because I'm a, apparently an improvisational artist with the pipes. Also, I like rats. You don't even care. I like to eat them. There's a clarification, but I like them nonetheless. <laughs> That's like saying I like cows. You do <laughs> love cows. <laughs> I'm not giving them up. Emery, Emery, but... If we're going, if we're going to a party, especially uh, a, a roaring horn party, uh, why the fuck did I have to make all that ale? Because I was thirsty. Well, nobody uh. makes it like you. This is your own branded drink. Think of it as a compliment. Also, we just like to make you work sometimes. It's funny. I'll tell you what, Emery, I'll give you this. You're the most talented goddamn brewer I've ever drank ale from. He said it! I'm so proud of you! Go <laughs> over and give his door a hug. Why are, you, why, why, why are you being so weird? It's a good and he's thing! Like, he's like gonna look behind you like this is like it's some sort of fucking gag. Nope. <laughs> Hester's getting real uncomfortable. What the fuck's wrong so with you? Hug like, him now. I'm gonna shove Hester towards him. <laughs> No, no. Have a moment. No, Get no. your fuzzy on. No, we're not. I'm we're not, we're not. Um, I got my arm no, around okay. Ruby. I'm like, yay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby's still just, just very taken back by the fact that history's being nice to him. Fuzzy, <laughs> fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. It's just kind of looking back at Chikios and Ruby, kind of gritting his teeth and like. Uh, he's gonna, he's gonna throw his arms around Emery and, and do that that very awkward kind of like man hug where he just kind of grabs yeah. him and pats him on the back a couple of times real strong like, mm -hmm. lets him go and holds him on the shoulder. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of okay. steps away. All right then, that uh, that was the thing. <clears throat> it was the thing. What? Well, you wanna what do you, uh, what do you want to do now? I want to drink some more of your ale until yeah, we get yeah, let's go drink. <laughs> water deep and then I want to drink some more. Yep. Well, we're on our way to water deep. We shouldn't be there, you know, in a bit. Traveling through air is convenient. You can thank your captain for that. <laughs> we can thank our captain for that. And I give a thank big you. hug to Ruby. Thank I am you. Very proud of you. And as uh, as they turn to like go get the ale, uh Emery's gonna like, kind of secretly inside, kind of uh, enjoyed the fact that somebody gave him a hug and like uh, was friendly to him. And uh, it's gonna kind of bring up uh, some some feelings inside and he's gonna reach down and clutch a, clutch a certain keychain that he's oh. been hanging on to. <gasps> it's true love. Somewhere. Missing, missing another friend. Somewhere Jeb is taking a shit. A fat, <laughs> <laughs> taking, taking a fat nasty somewhere in New Draven. <laughs> True love. Uh, <laughs> no more blood shall be shed here. <laughs> someday someday Arnor is gonna have to make it make his way back. <laughs> oh my god. Or another crystal. Uh, as we begin heading towards Waterdeep, if there's mm. anything anybody wants to do that is time constrained, Emery, oh, I think Valis is gonna gonna spend as much time as he can read that book. But 12, um, 12 hours on that bad boy since you're you're a, a fucking social deviant. I can totally see you uh, putting that kind of time in. He he retires to the to the to the ship and basically just pulls up a stool and kicks his feet up on the uh on one of the on one of the masts just on a you know a piece of uh metal protruding from a mast and uh as the skeletons just meander around him you know, bumping into shit <laughs> <laughs> uh the only time that is going to be spent not reading your tome uh Dante is actually going to come down from the cloud to your vessel. Mm -hmm. 
and inspect it for the first time and and he puts his hands on the rigging and swings under as he makes his way towards the captain quarters. And Volus is going to shut the book with one hand and stand up while grabbing the other hand and sliding a stool out across the deck and uh, welcome aboard. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Is this your first time on a ship, I'm assuming? This is my first time one that's ever been seaworthy. Well, I don't know if she's seaworthy. You've seen the help. Uh, it certainly has been seaworthy. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, actually. As he slowly shuts the door and walks in. Have you ever thought about making this dual purpose? What, uh... What do you mean? I really haven't... Well, this ship really was thrust upon me. I just uh, woke up here. I don't really... I haven't thought much about it at all. Would you be interested in... making this an airship? And when he asked that... We'll cut to black. Anything else going on on this ride? Kiki's going to start exploring. She's going to quietly sneak out of her bush and seeing all these tall buildings and lights. And she just thinks of this as a whole new type of jungle for her. (laughs) So she's going to just start climbing and jumping from building to wire to pole to building just exploring everything picking everything up looking at it putting it back and then running around to check something else everywhere it's adorable (laughs) this is a whole new world to her she's been in a small village she's been on a ship and that's about it this is very This is more technical. I mean, it's, tech, it's it's more advanced than what any of our characters have seen, but for Kiki, it's it's jarring and exciting for her. Swinging from electrical lines. You know, just like things. Just like what we did back in the day. You know. What are you doing with an undead monkey? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I can yug. Hey. Anyone else doing anything on the ride? Emery is going to uh, spend some time drinking with Hister, obviously. Um, <laughs> you're you're sitting with you're sitting me with we're we're drinking with Harshnag too. But unfortunately, drinking. we're drunk and he's not. <laughs> having a, <laughs> having sufficiently uh, gotten plaster, he's gonna he's gonna wander back into his into the cat house calling it a, an evening, but he's gonna um you know, once he's in there, his, his mind is uh, racing and he's feeling a lot of uh, a lot of emotions based on you know, for the, the, the fight um, having almost died again and um you know, and, and not uh, not feeling super useful in that last um, fight, he's gonna he's gonna be drunkenly rummaging through his his closet and pulling out uh, the Daedric armor and uh, the fur coat and the uh, the denim tuxedo, the Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> Canadian tuxedo. And the uh, French fur cambray. You know, his various <laughs> tunics and uh, and and things. And he's he's going to he's going to stop and he's going to look into all these costumes. He's going to stare in the mirror and. Uh, in the room and he's going to look and for, for just a second he's going to kind of shape his body kind of more uh, more muscular less dad bod um, before letting that all drop into his uh, his true form which is um, much like the dad bod shape but more withered and um, he's got a scar over his eye and 
hair is grayer and he's very frail looking and, and weak and and just drunkenly he's gonna stare in the mirror and just say you have to be stronger and then he's gonna pass out Anyone else? Hister's just sitting with Harshnag, drinking. <laughs> hey, Hister, I've got an idea. So I was really inspired earlier by the fight. Do you want to practice with me? Can't you see I'm trying to tell a story about battle with Harshnag? Come on, I even said that you were my mentor. Oh. Parshnag, you'll fight me, right? How am I not quit? I gotta get better. Somebody has to fight me. <laughs> I need to practice. I respect you, Ruby. Thank Enough you. to know that you'll get those swords out on me, spinning around just when I think that I can smash you into the ground. I know you're resourceful. And well, from what you. everyone's told me, you've run at giants before, so why would I scare you? Well, <laughs> it's he, just fun. He goes for the high five. <laughs> <laughs> you have strong magic, Ruby Sword, and I am far too drunk to taste this chicken. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Speaking like, of, Lord Zauron knew you as his contact in Tribor. When's the last time you seen old Lord Roaring Horn? Mm. Ages. Quite some time. It will be good to see my old friend, and it will be better. For all of us to empty every one of his casks of wine, ale, and whiskey. Sounds like you've been to one of his parties before then, haven't you? You don't become a contact without showing your gusto. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to see you two back together again. Poor the Rock's not going to know what fucking hit him. It will be quite the reunion, I promise. Oh, the now, Rock. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel about cinnamon buns? Mm. I want the largest cinnamon bun that I've ever seen. And I hear he's the man to do it. Boy, are we going to have fun. <laughs> do we continue to shoot the shit over the course of the evening? What's the tallest point in, in our little floating castle? The aviary that sits above the navigational room. I don't know, that actually does still have one griffin in it. Oh, Kiki finds her way up there. Who's feeding that thing? <laughs> Eats itself. Uh, Eats small Kiki, children. Kiki finds her way up there and sees the griffin. And so she tries to get its attention. She first starts by waving. Mudcat, please uh, sound the griffin for me. She screams. <laughs> Damn! That's the sound. I got lots of them. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? It... <laughs> and it comes at you really quick. That's kind of disturbing at first. 
Oh, hi, 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 hi. It's hi. beak right up on you. You're very pretty. It's so nice to meet you. I want you to roll an animal handling check, Kiki. Oh, God, no. Uh, this is where Kiki dies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Lunch, Kiki. Oh, that's a 21. We're fine. I hope. Are you? Is the 21 fine? She is an animal, so she should know how to handle an animal. I don't know how to handle myself, so that's a bad <laughs> argument. The question is, are you still running around with the fleece blanket around you? No, I had dropped that after I pooped. <laughs> I figured at this point it'd become a cape. Yeah. <laughs> like a little tiny superhero. It's too heavy to climb around with because it's such um, a big fluffy blanket. That's, that's still her home down on the ground. Mm-hmm. That bird is going to slowly lower its beak and kind of nuzzle you with the top of its feathers. Oh, you're sweet. <laughs> Are you dying? <laughs> you're so pretty. I'm starting to like kind of rub. I'll, I'll oh. keep my paw on one and I'll, I'll kind of walk around it a little bit. Kind of oh. petting it as I walk around, taking in its size. You are majestic, aren't you? It's loving it. It's taking every every one of those every one of those pets in. It's gross. You're so pretty. You want to come outside with me? <laughs> Doesn't really respond. Just responding to your scruffs. Oh. Come here, come on. I look around the room. Is there anything to feed it? Oh, well, yeah, there is. There's a, you can smell it. Oh, yeah, there's a, there is a, there's a tub of meat over there. Ah, there we go. I run over to the tub of meat and I, is it huge? Is it a lot, like a big old tub? Yeah, you kind of see like there's, there's a hoof sticking out from the corner of it. There's a haunch, a <laughs> something in there that's been, whoa. It's kind of like gator bait at this point. Oh, damn. Perfect. I'm strong. I pull it out. You want a snack? You got a you got a full boar haunch that you hold up above your head. It's like three times my size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> makes its way over to you. I'm going to start doing uh, like a shot put spin around mm. with it because I'm going to make a fetch. I'm swinging around and I release it up <laughs> in the air. Yeah, totally. You released that bad boy. You're releasing okay. it sideways? Yes. Fifteen. And it it's just trying to go for it before it goes outside. My DC was a seventeen. When you oh. when you chucked it. And there it goes. It spreads its wings. You see it dip down and dive. And then it pops back up. You can see the haunch. That was so well done. Mouth. It ah. kind of soars around in a circle, lets out a big screech as it goes over around. And makes its way back oh. to the aviary. Oh yeah, that let that sorry. screech out. God for gating, I heard just the first part of that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, he asked. That's an angry bird. <laughs> it makes its way back in. What are you doing all the way up here? I'm going to look around the room. I mean, Is it just food and handling? Yeah, good. It's, got, it's, like, it's comfy up there. It's warm. There's actually, you know, there's that it too is heated and, uh, <laughs> It, you know, it's pleasant inside there. It's got fresh bedding. It's got a whole bunch of food. It's got water. It's got the best view in the entire cloud castle. You have found the best spot. Can I move up here? It kind of nestles over your, as it sits down. <sighs> it, yeah, it kind of, it kind of brings you in over uh, underneath the wing. Oh, kind of we're going to be now. the best roommates. You're my new BFF. After Volus, don't tell him that, though. (laughs) 
She's gonna just snuggle up next to the next to it and just hang out for a bit. You just get the feather pillow. Mm-hmm. Whatever, and it's warm. A griffin is warm. <laughs> <laughs> Kiki in the tower. She's gonna <laughs> fall asleep up in the aviary. <laughs> this is her new home. Forget the blanket. She's got a bird. She's gonna love Nightcock. Um <laughs> Somebody quote that, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anybody else? Mm. Chikios What's Chikios doing? Yeah. Uh, Chikios drank with you guys for a, a, a period of the night, but he disappeared before the last session. And Chikios is going to climb up in to the second level. I want to look at butts. Where the butts are at. Booty, booty, booty. And behind where Zephyros's desk was. He's going to begin carving runes. for at least six hours into the night. Because he doesn't have to sleep the entire time. He works for a good while, making a runic circle behind the desk. When he's done, he slinks down. How many people passed out at the table drinking? He's Hold down on. there. Hold on. It's just cashed out. She can't asleep, asleep on harsh nag. You sleep on harsh nag. Ruby technically hasn't drink, but she always enjoys a good cat nap. I uh, I go back in and I fetch uh, a couple of blankets from the cat house, <laughs> and I lay one over uh, over Hester and Ruby. Thank you. <laughs> and then Chikios makes his way back up to his room. And he begins casting a spell. And he opens up a portal to the Feywild now that he is level 13. And that portal opens up as fire flies around it, light up and it expands out. And it acts as like a seeing mirror at first and you can see a scene of a bright full fledged maple grove green summer leaves and strong sunlight as the beams make its way through this dense foliage you can see this marble white what would almost look like an amphitheater in a courtroom combined at the same time. And you can see several Eldraine elvish figures in yellows and oranges and light browns. But in particular, one thing that you notice is a very, very large blonde hair light blue skinned giant as Chikios puts his hand just right through the portal just enough where it connects on the touch she makes her way back over to the mirror portal and they begin to have a conversation
and the scene fades to black. What? That's not Hecadon's daughter, is it? 100%. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry, not Hecadon. No, that's not Hecadon. No, it's this, the princess. This oh, is no, San, that, that, this, that's Sansuri's daughter. This is Sansuri's yeah. daughter in the Fae. I'm yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's wow. an important conversation to keep from us. Yeah, that's Sansuri's daughter. Mm hmm. Well, he's just been able to do it at will. Interesting. These are all all skills that I've just newly acquired. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Mm. That's interesting. That's so. very interesting. Everyone will raise up once again. Any spells that you use, go ahead and give yourselves a long rest. You specifically just talking to Valis on that one. <laughs> I figured. I figured since we were in a dream space, we didn't use them anyway. No, it was just in case you clicked them. <laughs> yeah, it was a dream space. They did not count. Uh -uh. You guys wake up for the day. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, the, uh, the 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 Legion Hall bacon train has never stopped. <laughs> Though this time, slightly more concussed. <laughs> I uh, I hand over to uh, to Hister. Hister. What? I have something for you. I have had <laughs> the Dryads of the Fey working on this for some time, it's and I was lucky enough to talk to them last night. Sipping his coffee. It's Wait, what, what dryads of the Fae? What are you talking about? And I present you a fine lamb skin, full cooking apron. You determine what creature of the bestiary is on there that has the giant inflated lips. It is your choice. <laughs> That's a humor, doesn't he? <laughs> of course. It is a rather large, buxom hill giant <laughs> with ruby red oversized lips. Oh, yeah, just total. Such your style. Yeah. It's another He's kiss. Got a type. Kiss the, kiss the cook. Wait a minute. You, you, you had made that made for me. <laughs> what? We it's, it's morning crew. It's what we do. It's, it's just, it's just gonna lower his head, so you can put it on him. <laughs> he puts the lambskin apron on you and puts both of the, uh, both of the ties in your hand. <laughs> Wraps it behind his. Back, grabs you by the shoulder. Big bear Mom hug. <laughs> it's good. We had to. Uh, you're, you're lucky. It's, it cost twice the material to fit around your big ass. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! At least you're not making an apron for Tormund. It cost you quadruple. That boy is as big as wide as he is round. You're the one who <laughs> made him. Now, hey, you, you're. <laughs> You're already burning shit. What are you coming to me? Oh, if that, if oh, that cat shit. sneaks up on me again, you let me know. Hey. I know you. I hey. know you can know these things. Next time, watch the spear. <laughs> He's gonna go back, <sighs> trying to trying to rotate all the shit that's starting to burn. Ruby's already right behind him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Creeping around when he sees you, gives a big big morning hug. <laughs> Picks you up off the ground just a little bit. It's your morning alarm. What uh, would you expect? Gives you a forehead kiss. You are my morning alarm. Yes. Thank you. I need the job. It's important. You are my morning Gives me alarm. Value. <sighs> and we do. Hey, we st stop the morning love and start chopping some of the vegetables. I need them for this risotto. <laughs> yes. 
not the man thing. We will, Emery uh, comes out full uh, full dad bod form, <laughs> just strut, strutting through the uh, strutting through the uh, kitchen straight to the coffee and the lemons. You're a lemon. Hey, hey, listen, you fucker. Don't put the lemons in the coffee pot this time, you ass. I had to scrub that thing for a half an hour to get that fucking citrus out of there. Mm. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, fine, 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 fine. Put it in your own goddamn cup. Don't put it I got, in the pot. I got it. I got it. Okay, I got, I got it. He's, he's going gonna, he's going he's to try to secretly sneak and do it anyways. Still. <laughs> Roll against me. It's a 22. Uh, am, am I rolling? Uh, what am I rolling against him? Perception? Oh, well, what, are, what are you guys rolling off against? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he, he was rolling. He's he's trying to stealth lemon into my coffee, and I'm I'm being wary of his shit around my that's, coffee pot. Oh yeah, I'm using a, inspiration. That's a 28. Yeah, it's slide. Of, he has a slide of hand. That's a slide of hand check versus. Uh, yeah, I just did one. Slide of hand versus stealth. Yeah. 28. 28. Fuck. Good luck. My perception. My perception. Good fucking luck with this. I squeeze a whole lemon in that thing. You mm. son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking sixteen. Uh, I'm I'm way I'm way too in my frittata right now. I'm beating those eggs. <laughs> I'm like I'm like taking like a like a like a pronged instrument. I'm like really like digging the shit out of that middle of that lemon. <laughs> Feeling super peppy this morning. I'm watching you, Avery. You get into that shit. I tell you right now, I'm gonna beat oh, your no, ass. Oh no, listen. I'm just pouring myself. Just pouring myself a cup. Uh, yeah, yeah, do yeah, you, uh, yeah. You do you want one? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Pour me a cup. Mine's empty. It's right. It's right over there by the by the by the, 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 the right there, right there, right there. Okay. All right. All right. I got. It, I got. It. I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna pour him a big. Not my. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Ruby. Yeah. Ruby. Where, where are my vegetables? This. It's, it's. It's ready to go in the pan. It's hot. Uh, I'm not good in this <laughs> place. Here. Um. I think this is a vegetable. I don't know what I pick up, but I hand it to him. Oh, Val, or uh, Emery's just gonna slide him that cup of coffee, uh, um, and just kind of walk to the other side of the room, just leaning against the wall, like watching. Mr. All right. So the first, the the first one you chopped up for me is bell pepper. Put that into it. Let's see what the what? second one is. <laughs> Ruby. What? Get, get, give me, give me the next thing. Give me the next thing. Uh, I'm not even looking at it. Grab something else here and throw it at him. <laughs> you just gave me jackfruit. Good. <laughs> I hope that's delicious. <laughs> so tastes like a tastes like a monkey's ass. <laughs> Perfect. Even better. I'm gonna put that in the eggs. I'm gonna put it into the hot. jackfruit. Hell no. Hey, hey, I've had a, I've, I've had a good jackfruit taco before. <laughs> I have never had good jackfruit. <laughs> um, I, I can honestly say I've had one. It was not bad. Uh, you know what? It, it was a 13. If it was a it was a 15 below, it was going to be jackfruit. If it was higher than that, it was going to be cilantro. <laughs> so it is a jackfruit bell pepper frittata that's going in the, <laughs> the fucking <laughs> cast iron skillet. Never heard of anything better. You're welcome. <laughs> so for the sake of brevity, we will go ahead and complete breakfast as we always do and feed everybody up <laughs> as we pull in to old Waterdeep. Mm. For the first time in a good while, floating up above the bustling metropolis. I need everyone to roll a perception check. <laughs> Two. 18 and 12. It's not in that one, at least. 30, 20, and a 14. She guesses. Barely awake at this point. Oh, I scared him. Hister's too distracted by the fucking tart taste of his coffee mm -hmm. and yelling Emery's name. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> and Emery runs out the door. <laughs> For those above a 15, you can feel, God damn, that wind is cold. Oh, as the heaters have to kick up another burn. <laughs> 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 Hiding under the wing. And uh, yeah, it takes those uh, it takes those heaters a minute to kick back up to the temperatures that we're in. 
But as we crest in, it, for anybody that's ever driven into Chicago before on Lakeshore Drive, that's the kind of feels that you get when you pull into the metropolis that is water deep. Full of activity and liveliness. And you can see the old spiraled party house of the Roaring Horn Estate. And it's large, massive fields that extend out because it has almost a full racetrack size. Like it's Kentucky Derby and that's what it is. It's like Kentucky Derby meets like Fifth Element has always been the inspiration for the, the Roaring Horn Estate. Mm. And uh, literally where we're, uh, where we're at, we pull into that space and the cloud castle stops and we do it old school over here as immediately the beanstalks begin descending down old school and manual at six or seven of them close together intervined all the way down to the ground making a grand entrance on his side. Hey, Ruby. Yeah. Race to the bottom. Uh, you want to do this again, old man? Are you sure? Mm. His, Hester's not even bothering with the vines. He's just head diving on over the edge. Oh, are you oh! sure? I'm going, I'm going after. Yes, man! <laughs> are you just jumping off the side of the cloud? Yeah. Oh, I still have Emery's ring of feather fall. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going, but as I go down, I'm putting on that squirrel suit. Oh! <laughs> as, you, as you see it, histories are coming down. There you can see Squirrel Suit Ruby in hot pursuit. I'm ready. I was built for this. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do Dragonborn <laughs> torpedo. Just head down. Keep you, you my eyes. Yeah, keep I my eyes on the ground. Thing. And my <laughs> hands close to that ring so I can activate it as soon as I get close to ground. <laughs> You you look like the dude who jumps out of the airplane in Deadpool too. Hundred <laughs> percent. That was the inspiration. Oh There's god! Like inside my fucking head, I'm like, oh, dude, I got, I, I'm, I'm going to do this moment right now. <laughs> See, seeing these guys race and just feeling left out, Emery's gonna sip his coffee and he's gonna cast Dimension Door straight down to the ground. <laughs> Just step through it with his coffee in hand. Cheater. <laughs> Chikios is going to look back uh, uh, over at uh, Dante. <laughs> would you, uh, do you want me to take us down to the bottom or do you want to fly? I would very much like to spread my wings. Ugh. And he uh, turns and looks back over at uh, Harshnag. The question is, do you want to ride or are beanstalks a rough spot for you? Is that? <laughs> fairy tales are fairy tales. I'm going down fireman style. <laughs> <laughs> and Sikios and Dante fly their way down. Harshnag now spiraling down, just taking like just slicking one entire <laughs> these men <laughs> as he's sliding down uh, anybody else that would like to make their way down in any fashion since we have 17 fucking characters at this point yeah, Wallace, <laughs> Wallace will make his way down as well sliding down the, the beanstalk like a rope <laughs> he hears it. do you want to go and she just jumps as well come on She'll scream as she flies out the aviary. She jumps out. As you like jump flying. out of the aviary, it's maybe five seconds, ten seconds, 
Your griffin comes and flies up underneath you as you grab onto the back of it. Whee! <laughs> oh, Emery dimension doors and doesn't even wait for the uh, others to join him. He's, he's like already walking off to get some sausage. First one down, you were immediately greeted by the cocktail staff once again. <clears throat> oh, distinguished guests. The chill of winter has, ar has arrived, as you can tell. Um, yeah, have... yeah, that's all good, but wh uh, where's the sausage stick? Where's the sausage booth? No, Treats of North, and they actually pull a sausage out from the apron, and they begin to hand warm it for you. Oh, well. Bryn, Bryn, Bryn Shander style hand warm oh, sausages. God. Well, well. Yes. Well, 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 well. Uh, no less than 15 seconds crank for... Oh. Warm those sausages. You know Go ahead and make it 20. <laughs> H Hister's finally getting to a point where in his descent, he can start to see the Emery's already on the ground getting a sausage and he just fucking hangs his head, turns the ring and <laughs> starts, to, starts to feather fall the rest of the way down. You can see it's 15 fast strokes and then five strong, slow ones as he's handed over that warm sausage. I wish I didn't hear that. Emery's still wearing a great... Emory's still wearing his gloves because his hands are all cut up. <laughs> Go take that sausage and just just chow down on it. It it's fantastic, and it is. It's actually sausages. They're the exact same ones. They have oh been they have been packed and shipped from Bryn Shander from an NPC's name, which I will never remember. Uh, the, uh, just, I would have to go just back. Just like Bryn Shender. 100% looking back for that. <laughs> You're gonna, hey, listen, listen, my friends are coming. Just just go ahead and warm us up like two dozen of those things. Three other of the wait staff come over in unison. They're just feverishly warming these, these hand sausages. <laughs> it's, everyone else is descending. They see Emery over here conducting a symphony of hand warm sausages. <laughs> Drunk. Emery just creepily watching. Drunk. Drunk. Hand warm warm sausages. <laughs> oh. I see. I see. Uh, Harshnag better make it four, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, the entire cocktailing staff has set down their trays and they're feverishly warming sausages. Everybody's got a sausage in their hands right now. That's how we're greeted. We all walk in a line towards the Roaring Horde Estate with hand warm sausages in hand. It's good to be home. Ah. Smells good. And no less than the combination of Gary Oldman and Colonel Sanders. You see Lord Zelron Roaringhorn, as he always is, in the front porch foyer, holding court, Kane, completely dressed in white, <laughs> rocking God very much. Gary Oldman's <laughs> high and tight and tight <laughs> folded over silver white hair but the colonel's the colonel's goatee and mustache at this point and Perfect. full cane Kentucky tie and all if that head ate some hand warming sausage eating motherfucker showing up over here. Oh, that gift. That was so weird oh. to see. <laughs> it has been some time now since I have seen and look, you brought the whole damn family here. Even Big Ass himself over here. Get your ass. I will. I am not. I, I am big enough to whip your ass, Harshnag, coming in here like this unannounced. He, he bows up for a minute as Harshnag comes and leans down 
as he's still squared up like bare knuckle style and you just you just see roaring horn just melt into a puddle as he just like a small kid <laughs> reaches up he's trying to hang on his necklace just trying get, get your big ass down here so i give you a hug god, god damn it <laughs> it's good to see you son of a bitch that's right Son of a bitch is right. He, like it's like he's it's his hair is messed up a little bit. Like he just doesn't care. It's just, it just completely drops decor for a minute. <sighs> and some new faces I see too. Some new faces to see. Very nice. I'm sure I will get it and, and get to meet you all over the course of the evening. Welcome to the Roaring Horn Estate. We have a party as we always do. <gasps> a party? That's right, little one, that is right. We do have a party and don't ever skip on the hors d'oeuvres. <sighs> She's running in, that little monkey run. <laughs> <laughs> She's going in. She just <laughs> runs right past everyone. Wallace is going to see her take off and wait, hey, come, come, come back here. He's going to chase after her. <laughs> You can't just run off by yourself. I can't even. There are multiple trays of food that you could you could snag as you go in. Uh, <laughs> it, there, there's there's definitely a Travis Tritt tray that has uh, bacon wrapped uh, little Smokies. Is yes. the wait staff kind enough to lower it to my height? Hundred percent, because they're guests of all they're guests of all sizes. <gasps> I love it here. <laughs> and she just goes ham on everything. And there, I can it. assure you of one thing: there is no bacon wrapped, uh, uh, like a uh, uh, bullshit water croissant. Like that, uh, that ain't happening. There is fucking there, every one of these is a bacon wrapped actual sausage. Yes. Uh, all this is just legit. follows behind every everywhere she goes, mm. and just like trying not to make a scene, but just being like, "You, you can't act like this. You're embarrassing She's me." Making a big scene. Put it. Put it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> You're, you're like concerned get, get Johnny Depp here. in, in pirate form. <laughs> <laughs> look, look what they have. She's just holding up random stuff at this point. I've never seen this before. His history's going to see this and walk up to Zalron and go, I remember that little bastard that was like that when we brought him to one of your parties for the first time. That was old Chirac these days. That's my cue to leave. Mm. Ruby just walks off. <laughs> Full so chef's coat at this point. Chef Boyardee hat and all. In, in, embroidered uh, uh, Chirac Services logo <laughs> on his chef's apron. Fresh from Cintas, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the soap dispensers too. <laughs> Large rolls of toilet paper, jumbo, might I add, Mr. Emery. Yes, Ruby, it's good to see you as well. Yes, yes, I'm going to go try your wonderful food now. Goodbye. She goes to get some You'll snacks. You'll appreciate. <sighs> yes, it's uh, one of the only things I appreciate Wait. about you. Make a left over to the right is the raw bar, Miss Ruby. Thank you. You know mm. what I like. And she's going there. You know what, uh, Mr. Hister? Not bad for someone who tried to kill me and leave me on top of an ice cap. That's, that's an improvement. True. But that's what we real, call an improvement. The real man you need to impress is this one. He's going to point over at Harsnag. Oh, I promised uh, I oh promised my. him some cinnamon rolls. Hmm. Looks like we're going to have to go ahead and use the cake that we had on the inside for the main dining room. Come here. God damn it. We have a giant ear and no one told me on any any of the list that we were going to have a guest in a giant. So we're going to whip up another one. Bring one of the cakes in from the main room now. It's ushered in. It is a massive cinnamon roll that was in the main dining room. It <laughs> it, it arrives Pharaoh style with eight people holding it up. It's still dripping 
icing. It's just like, you can see it's like hitting their face and they're like, <laughs> uh, just like, it takes everything for this thing to just to arrive. Oh, mother of God. I told you, Harsnag. Harsnag dips down a finger in it just to get the little icing. Not fucking kidding. We grabs it with both hands. <laughs> up out of it. <laughs> he just goes for the full frontal. Anybody that's had a beard and has ever tried to eat a cinnamon bun or a donut, you just gotta go for it. Just lodges it in. <laughs> it's the first, this is the best day of my life. <laughs> yeah, that's rock. You hear that? When I when I pass out from the diabetes or coma, find me on the lawn. <laughs> Beard on the rest. In Ciroc services, it was the best you ever had. Well, we have done our job and tell them the rest of you need to go and run off. We need another cake. Roll a perception check. That is a 17. 17. You can hear a slight accent and familiar sound as he barks out orders. He sounds a little bit like old Magdren <laughs> these days. History's going to notice that and just sly eye look at him and smile. You're gonna run a kitchen around here. We gotta whip them into shape. <laughs> oh, speaking of shape, Mr. Hister. Uh, never mind. And he runs hey. off. <laughs> Jurak! Jurak! Yes, Mr. Hister. I'm proud of you. Ah, don't make me blush. I got a whole party to take care of. <sighs> Proud of you, Mr. Kids. Hister. Fucking kids. <laughs> That's it's right. Kinda... It, 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 you notice, Chirac is lo he's actually lost about 10 pounds. It, 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 it took a while because you know the man's got to eat his own cooking. But once I told him, he said, it, now, now, Chirac, if you keep going down this pathway, you're not going to end up being able to serve X amount of people you want to in your lifetime. So I told him a pure diet of whiskey and red meat is essential to your life. I'm, I'm a beacon of hell. This is <laughs> continues spreading his, his fake news and propaganda to a large group. <laughs> Incorporated into the, the rest of y'all. Now, now I, I, we have plenty of time to meet the, the, the rest of your friends. You, you, by God, you got a large party now. You gonna my ass is gonna go broke feeding everybody else over here, and that's exactly how I like it. I will. I promise I will meet everyone before the end of the party. As you know, the party never ends. You can find yourselves at home if you need me for a good little conversation, because I know you love them sidebars, especially once you want to get an old Roaring Horns whiskey. You just let me know. I'll be here. You see me. Can't. It's not hard to find. You, uh, you still got the two-story luge up? Two-story luge is still there. As a matter of fact, we've made it a three-story. I think, uh, I may have to reprise my last challenge of that horn, sir. <laughs> that, that you should. That you should. <laughs> And the thing, you thought the first one hit like a freight train. What you see the third story? It's a challenge I'm willing to accept. And as always, thank you for your hospitality. You're very welcome, Mr. Hister. You're very welcome. And I couldn't be more pleased that you left this pudgy little son of a bitch with me. He had to run in this kitchen. It's never been more sound in its life. No more pleased than I am to see the man that you've helped him become. Now, I wouldn't say I made this thing a man. You still need to go teach him how to butter a cannoli, but uh, some of bitches have one hell of a pastry chef. Well, 
your uh, your giant friend Harstag that you hooked up with uh, hooked us up with seems to uh, appreciate his cooking. So I'll take that as an endorsement of uh, he's doing a really fucking good job. Well, let's just put it this way: Harstag is a lot like your choice in women as is to him eating. He's gonna do anything. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's clear that up right now. <laughs> Let, 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 let a spade be a spade, Mr. Faust. You definitely know an old soldier, don't you? Not hard to call it. If it if it's breathing, it's your type. Now come on, let's go. <laughs> Speaking of, show me on the inside. Come on, come on, let's get with them. As we uh, each grab up, uh, there's there's whiskey snifters on a tray as you walk in. I make sure to grab two for me, I grab two for you, and hand it off as we make our way in. <laughs> Hister actually took the two you just handed him, poured one off into the other, and then takes the third that he had in his other hand and then pours it on top of that. So <laughs> he's got three shots in one glass and just starts to sip away. Doesn't surprise me one bit. Ruby's enjoying the fun of the party and is feeling the joy of it and is choosing to pull out the pan flute, that magical pan flute that she stole. <laughs> and she's going to play it. The red flute! Look. <laughs> Go for it. Hopefully well. Okay, perfect. She's gonna she's gonna start a little bit quietly over where she is. And, and as she can, begins to play, it'll get louder and she'll start making her way, kind of dancing up and through the crowds. Roll that performance check. Attention. Perfect. Also, I'm proficient with the pan flute as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is going to be a 23. Oh, hell yeah. You're right. Hey, you're rocking it out. You, uh, you're, you're, you're bouncing around like you're a, uh, satyr from the Fae. You got some. You got you got some good bounce step in this. Now, are you using the pipes of the sewers? Is that the one that you have, or are these yeah. are okay? These, yes. All right. Uh, on the pipes of the sewers, after your first performance check, what what's it say? Um, on on pipes of the sewers. Um, actually, Emery probably has the details of that. Technically, I stole it from him. Don't worry, I'll pull uh, it up. Pipes of the sewers. Pipes have three charges. If you play the pipes as an action, you can use a bonus action. Uh, whenever a swarm of rats that isn't under another creature control comes within 30 feet of you while you're playing the pipes, you can make a charisma check to... No, never mind. Um, called swarms move towards the music by the shortest available route, but aren't under your control otherwise. So they're just coming here. Perfect. Right. I'm getting an audience. <laughs> As you make your way around the room and you know to work the perimeters, it doesn't take long before you've amassed five, 10, 15, 20 dancing rats back behind you at this point. As, it's all choreographed too. Oh, 100% they're following every move that you do. Roll another mm -hmm. performance check. If, if, um, if they come within 30 feet of her, she can make a charisma check against their the swarm's wisdom. If she loses, the, the swarm behaves normally uh, and can't be swayed. Um, if you win, the swarm is swayed by the pipes music and becomes friendly to you and your companions for as long as you continue to play the pipes. Go ahead, roll that charisma check. And it obeys her commands. Oh, charisma? <laughs> These are my rats. Okay. Uh, that is a 26. <laughs> Fuck me. Dude, they rolled hot too. That's a 17. <laughs> a sw a swarm's wisdom, I believe they're a plus two. So yeah, you're, I mean, you're gonna be able to smash that. I'm just irresistible. <laughs> I can, so now you can command them. <laughs> I bring them all to dance in front of me, just for this audience. <laughs> for now, I'm toying with what might be my dinner later. We'll oh see. God, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Four fuckers. <laughs> they have no idea. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I'm hungry. These hors d'oeuvres are fantastic, though. So, Sirach might be great. <laughs> right now, I'm just putting on a show. Oh my god. 
amazing. <laughs> In fact, how many rat? How many rats do I accumulate? How many? How, how many rats? Yes. Uh, how many? Yeah, you is got is like there 30. enough that I can have them towered up together to have swords create like a mm -hmm. another figure? Like they they are almost my height. Like they're together as a. Oh one. my god! You yeah, you want like a like a wicker man rat? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want it to dance with me. You can call them in from a half mile away. Perfect. <laughs> and there's I a call lot of rats all in this the set. Rats. You're you're able to make a this giant hive mind Ruby Shore rat person. Perfect. <laughs> that sounds not terrifying at all. Oh my! Heaven to Murgatroyd. I've never seen a rat statue before in my life. It's, have you seen that, Roy? Roy! Roy! <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what, what? Oh, those rats are not, honey. <laughs> As Roy continues to stare over at uh, everything else in the party. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> all right, Monica. That's <laughs> it. Uh, a, a hell of a set of hooters on a cat, you see. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a, yeah. What's the definition of is? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just me no, getting even right there. It, it that's was, just me getting even. Yeah, you got me there. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you got me there. Uh, you, you are you you were you were holding court. You were holding court, Rube. Thank you. Oh. Oh, God. What? This, this place is geez, it's unbelievable. I, I've been back here so many times that I, I, I've never seen anything quite like this. It gets weirder as the night goes on. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> and immediately uh with his long flowing red hair there are multiple suitors that come up to attain attention from dante and dante as a uh with a middle school mind just is completely blown away that anyone has any attention at him all and even though he's making all of the wrong moves on the planet the 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 three different uh, the three different women are keeping him well entertained and laughing at his awful dryness. Because <laughs> he's learning learning his way. Oh, <laughs> poor kid. Chikios just gives him a wink. Doesn't need my help. He's got this in a bag. Huh. So I go and take a cocktail weenie and uh. <laughs> Stroll back over uh, to the middle of the room, seeing you hold, hold, still holding court, making your way into figure eight with now this rat, eventually flesh golem that it seems that you've made. <laughs> uh, oh, that, isn't that something you don't see every day? As I all of a sudden speak uh, in uh, in Lockhart voice. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're at a new party. Be whoever you want. <laughs> oh, time to uh, rebrand. Run away. <laughs> mm. Go ahead and roll another perception check, everybody. Mm. Yep. Drinking whiskey. Don't give a fuck. I'm a five. Four too, and busy, an eight. too too busy watching Dante. Twenty five and a three. God damn that cold breeze comes in again. Ugh, shit. Ugh, it, it takes a while for the uh, the the heat to pick up, and that, yeah, it's impressive because this is a you know Roaring Horn is he is spared no expense. There's no doubt about that. It, it, mm. it, it takes a minute for those. Uh, ethereal lamps to kick back up in the heat <sighs> shit is it always this cold here it's 
one of as you uh <laughs> reach out to one of the guests who's uh wearing a well it has a mask just uh, uh like a holding mask new orleans <laughs> style <sighs> no, this is always this cold but these headwinds from the north are blistering <sighs> i just don't know what's gotten into it the last couple of days <sighs> so it's new it's not always like that I mean, What's it's to the north. It's still cold. Uh, well, it's the ice, and it's always cold winds from the north. It's nothing new. Hmm. Dinky, uh. quit bothering people. I'm it's not just the bothering weather. people. I thought you're supposed to talk to people about the weather at a party. Nobody gives a shit about the weather. I like the weather. More food! She goes for it. I was gonna chase after. <laughs> She's not even doing her monkey walk. She's like bounding. And then she shimmies up a waiter's leg to try to get to the food. <laughs> the grand piano begins to play. And everyone sections off. Couples out for a dance. The revelry is high. It's good to be back home. He's still here. Mr. pauses for a second, listening to the piano. Almost slightly gives me a little PTSD of when they were in the Cloud Giant's castle. Mm. He feigns a smile and looks at Chikios and goes, as much as home as we've been in a long time. As it is. Good to have friends. You say that I, I roll a perception check as well. I think it's just being in luxury and hearing a piano in the first place. It's, I, I get what you say. It's, it's unnerving at first. Especially what we know now. Wait. How did you know what I was thinking? I'm sorry. I thought you. I thought you. Thought you told me that. My bad. Then he doesn't say that. <laughs> 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 My bad. Grace, no one saw anything. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I mean, look at where we've come. Dante, out there, having his pick of the girls. Couldn't fucking set a hook if you helped him put it in. Ah, uh, don't worry. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. Oh, I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not worried about him. <laughs> It'll be fine. Look, he's a... He's Fine young cannibal. He'll, he'll trip his way through it at this point. As good looking as uh -oh. he is, he won't need to trip. They'll carry him through it. Chirac, <laughs> uh, almost no eaten by goddamn frost giants, carried away by a white dragon. We've done a lot. It's weird to have uh, have so many friends around us when we started with so few. That is the truth. What the as fuck am I begging for? As we're reminiscing.
as you guys look out over to the balcony on the second level, there is a stack of kegs that have been presented in a tower. <gasps> and there is a very, very large rotund man in friar's robes tied with a gold band around the waist large burly ZZ top style beard that comes down to a V with a shaved head with a mallet in one hand Lord Roaring Horn to his side and the next is an acolyte in a police on a goddess I made it body you set forth the season of bounty at the Lording Horn Estate sir may you have the honors and tap in the first keg <laughs> as he hands Lord Roaring Horn the mallet. Mm. <sighs> and the music cuts off. It is truly, it is truly a feast of bounty this year as the crowd cheers. <laughs> it has been another impressive year. For all of the families here in the city of Waterdeep, I want to dedicate this as I do all, all of my friends and business partners, as it has been nothing without you. Everything that I have done is because of your connections. And without your help, keeping the city and the avenues of commerce going, there is no way we could be sitting at this party now. And I'll tell you that everyone else that's out there is telling, let's get this old man to shut up right now. We gotta keep drinking and I would agree. I just wanna say thank you to everyone who is here. And that lovely music this evening, unbelievable. And he takes and he swings his hammer in and plunges it into the bunghole. As they get their mugs out and that water begins or the, that, that beer begins to spew out and down up over the second level. You can see as the rest of the party rushes out to gather up underneath where that beer is about to spill down. And as they gather, you look and they can see all their mouths are held open wide. And as they look up, that beer is frozen in place. And as you see that beer freeze, you can feel a cold wind blow in from the foyer. As you see every glass freeze and tilt and shatter from beer to champagne break. Every opening and wall, you begin to see ice raise up on either side as the entire state begins to become walled off with ice. The temperature drops 30, 20, 10 degrees, 
You can see your own breath at this point. You can see the kitchen staff come running into the main room. What's left? You literally see bodies sheared off by walls of ice. It screams begin to pour in from the side rooms. A massive javelin of ice lands into the middle of the room and strikes down. As it splits into the room, it carves five, six people just in two, just completely asunder. And as it does, the piano kicks in again. And as it does, that center javelin ice knifes and splits. <laughs> and we will be rolling next week. <laughs> oh. When it does. something was coming fucking hister oblivious to the cold Ugh. but getting fucking ptsd from the fucking piano <laughs> you got the you, you got the piano at the end though mm-hmm. that's a yeah. sure sign but he didn't know about the fucking cold it's a good thing emory is still with the hand warm sausage ladies <laughs> if, if there's any ladies left still hanging out with his favorites you're all oh. just hand warming him now he is the sausage. <laughs> you weirdo. That was yeah. crazy. Little... I was not expecting to have to see her again so soon. So soon? It's been a month and a half. It's been a while. Two months. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have a nice. You haven't seen her. Yeah. We don't know what it is. You've heard her piano, though. It's just eyes and piano at this point. This point. Anyone. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. It could, could be her avatar. We don't know. We'll figure that out. What there a are son a of lot a bitch. of people who hate us. Oh, yeah. Could but again, on. but again, you know, there's a lot of powerful enemies, but we got a lot of powerful friends. I'll leave Seems you with one more one more tidbit that I I wanted to to leave with you that I forgot to role play. only be one person that's probably near him that would be able to hear this and this would be Hister Dear God Someone has found the ring of winter Oh shit. Oh shit. Did you guys forget about the Ring of Winter? Because I forgot about the Ring of Winter. The Ring of Winter was the the first sort of little why we went after Sirac for a while. Yeah, I mean we chased the ring we chased the, 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 the Ring of Winter around, but we figured how do you find a guy who can't be found? He found us. <laughs> it's not or him. someone found him and is using it against us. Somebody who's very driven mm -hmm. and very pissed off. Wow. Wow. Three fucking rolls. <laughs> couldn't tell the cold. Three fucking uh, rolls. Couldn't tell the cold. Let's 
long forgot about. No, not long forgot. Long just forgotten the lords, long lords forgotten. of the north. They Those sit, buttheads. They sit in their regards, red wedding we just style. Did something else instead. We stopped, stopped going after it. Do they just know, not know what the proper etiquette is? Like, you sit in a barrel of wine. I don't know. <laughs> Here's our fattest I, pig. Here's uh, some ice for your refreshing drinks. The the heart <laughs> the heartbreaking thing is is having all that fun and knowing that <laughs> this, Here's a, this is where I'm gonna like, end. What anything if we else? Go back to the party. What happens if you don't <laughs> go back there? Uh, I have it in a couple different ways. Oh, I have it in a couple. Died. Uh, I had it in one way where if you guys try to immediately go into uh, back into the water, it just freezes over. If it and and blockades you there, and you know something is very wrong the moment it happens, so you find out like the world would be iced over. And that's what you were. You were getting there. So with you guys moving, you got to feel progressively as at this point the world is being. Whoever has control of the Ring of Winter right now mm. is freezing this planet. But I guess it's better that we moved up north because now less of it is frozen than if we had stayed. <laughs> See, Maybe. <laughs> let's find out next week. Oh, <laughs> nice. Dang it. Such a long year to wait until next week. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh, 50, 52 weeks of this of this cliffhanger bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one more. One more in the books, man. Happy one year, guys. Yeah. Red, red wedding style. Wow. <laughs> You're, you, you really are cousin to George R.R. R. Martin. <laughs> and I have one thing to say to you. I love you <laughs> and fuck you. Yes. It's such a good tune, though. Man. The song, yeah. The no, Sans, so Sans 3 had some good taste. <laughs> good song. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. You're wonderful. Be good to each other. Be safe. <laughs>